Hello, you guys. How are you all? Thank you guys for being here. I don't want to waste anybody's time, so I want to get right into it. But just very quickly, I want to say hello to you guys, the ones that I can quickly get through because I can't not do that. Um, hello, Edith. Hey, B Crumbs. Mrs. Bendover. Hey, Chase. Gemini Crumb Online. Carolina Hurtado V. Oakley. MK. Carla, Mayla's mom, Pointer Lover, Meg, Nadie, Artemisia, Chris, Nana Banana, Roxanne, Tess, hey Chase, hey Christina, Borders Girl, Melissa, Hell, Alexander, Yeevee, Bree, Nana, Artemisia, might be doubling up now, Karen, for forgets and shiggles, <laughs> forgets and shiggles, Toby Bird, Jelly Baby, Carrie and everybody else, Little Red, thank you guys for being here, Mrs. Bendover. I'm going to bring the girls right up. Hey, Four Chihuahuas. Hey, Core. Hey, Rando. And we're going to get started unless you guys have something you want to say before we get into it. I know the first call is with Amy Lang, the friend, the new friend of Tisha's. So anything you guys want to say before we get started? And hello. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm Hi. all over the place. No, I don't have anything to say, babe. I'm good. Um, ready to go yeah the only thing uh for me is that um you know the first call is with amy l which you already said um but i will take you back to last night's calls where we had the calls with the unknown youtuber and uh leticia and amy are going to be talking about that youtuber so i just want to make sure that the the dots are connected between you know the subject that Leticia oh, and Amy perfect. are talking about, it's they're talking about the unknown YouTuber that we heard last night. Perfect, thank you for that. Okay, interesting. Hey, Glitterbug, I'm glad you do. Hey, Lori, hey, you guys. Well, I'm Did excited hear to hear this. Oh, sorry. Did I hear you say that MK is here? Yes. MK is Nate here too? MK, yes. Lynn, Nate, Boo, all y'all, hello. <laughs> See everybody. <laughs> here yeah and there's so you guys there's so many here already i just let's go ahead and get started if we're ready i'm excited for this thank you guys for being here i appreciate it so much okay let's All go right. all right love you talk to you soon all right love you. hey Hey. <laughs> okay, anyway, so she was like, she wrote me this letter about, you know, apologizing for doing that. But then you know, she was like, she got attacked by like all these people. People were threatening her. People were looking over her address, trying to find her, like all kinds of stuff. I was like, what? And she was like, yeah. yeah. So she was like, I've never been attacked by so many humans in my life. It's so that like, because, like, somebody on Facebook posted another one of her videos. Cause I guess she just put up another one recently, right? Uh -huh. And all these people are claiming because she took one of the letters that you wrote her and she like scanned it in and put it like all over YouTube and Facebook, right? Yeah. And everyone's on there saying, You're lying, that's not her, that's not her handwriting, you're not talking to her, you're making this stuff up. But she was going like off the freaking wall, like, <laughs> Why would I make this up? I can't make this up, that is her handwriting. And like, obviously, I don't go on there and comment, but I'm thinking, like, Well, I know it's her handwriting because like I've got, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's going to tell you not to. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I I am not one for drama, like, so I guess the last time you talked to her, right, she uh -huh. audio recorded the phone call, I don't know how old, but she put that on YouTube, too, and then she, like, shared it and told everybody, see, look, I do talk to her, because there's, like, a phone call that does everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy crap, this lady. <laughs> yeah, I know, so, like, I was just, like, um... I was just like, I read a letter and I was like, I'm just going to pray for this lady because, you know, I feel bad because like she, her dad is in some like severe uh, chemo stages and she's like, you know, help them. And she had a stroke and like, she's been trying to like do all that, you know? So I try to be like, Oh, well, you know, I feel bad for her. I pray for her. That type of thing. <laughs> but I was yeah. just like telling her, I was like, don't, you know, like don't put your business out there because you know, people are going to get in turn no matter what and twist it, you know? Then they're going to twist everything, you know. Yeah, and that's like, you know, I'm not really sure what she's trying to do by sharing all that stuff. I'm not sure what her objective is, but I think it's a little strange. <laughs> well, and she's not even credible in those terms because she's, like, mentally, um, 
how can I say it? Like she's had a stroke. She has brain. Head, she's had severe brain damage. So like she's not really. You know what I'm saying? Like mentally yeah. she is, Like mentally she is out there. So. She seems like it. Like I mean, I don't know her well enough, but like I've gone to her YouTube page, and it's like interesting to say the least. Like she does a lot. Um, I guess true crime stories would be the best way to put it. But she's got like other things on there too, and then the stuff that you know she's put up of you know what you've mailed her and like your guys' friends. And I will keep it it's funny because now people are hopping on there like <laughs> we don't believe that you guys have actually talked. <laughs> like I know they have, but I'm not saying anything. I'm just watching quietly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It's just a nefarious but, world, man. You know, like I told you, to admit they got a wrong for our incarceration is to admit that they are wrong. You know, and that's that, that's going to be the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, I hope it. I mean, I hope it works out for you. I don't, you know, really know much about like who the like how the prosecution team like who they are, if they're any good, or what their aim is going to be. But I mean. Maybe you representing yourself, you might be able to make a better point than having somebody else do it for you, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's a, I got I got a trump card, like a one that would, if I was to give it away right now, I'd probably, I probably could sell it for $100,000 right now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It, it would make them fall flat on their face. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, you got to, you got to, you you got to be strategic and hold it all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah, don't do not do it too soon because then, you know, they're going to try to do what they can to yeah. find a loophole in something. And, and try to keep it from being presented to a jury and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, is this, is this going to be, like, a trial by jury, do you know? Well, I originally said a trial by judge, but, like, my attorney tried to sabotage that. That was why I got pissed at him. Yeah. Hold on, I'll be downstairs in a minute. I'll get the TV in a minute. Go. Because I felt like, you know, if the judge saw that trump card, it, it'd throw everything out of the water. And they'd be like, holy shit. But that's why, you know, I said originally by a judge. Yeah. I mean, the jury would do it too. It's just takes longer process. You know what I mean? It takes longer. Cause you yeah, that's a gotta, really long process. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to wait and, like, select them. And they have to be checked. You know, all that stuff is so, so much extra, you know. And it's, huh. but it's not my money, you know. It's the state of Colorado's money, so. <laughs> so yeah, let them drag it out as long as they need, as long as they need to. <laughs> yeah, that's their money. So it's just like if they want to keep keep spending it, they won't get that trump card. So. Are you ready for like the whole process? Because it's gonna be. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a long one. The biggest thing for me is just sitting there through all the bullshit, you know, and then. Knowing I want to just stand up every day and be like, okay, well, can we do this? Can we show this? Please, please, please. Just this one thing, please. You know, and, but, but yeah, you can't. That's the thing that makes you crazy because you got to be like, okay, just shut up and don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just be quiet. And then in the end, when you finally get to say it, you know, show your one, just this one piece, like I said, could, I could sell it right now for $100,000. I don't know if it's 100 I might be exaggerating, but you <laughs> No, I remember you told me last time we talked that you had, um, like, you've gotten your medical records and that you were going to try to lose. Um, like, have you turned those over yet to a judge? Or are you still holding on to those? Oh, I mean, you still got those. Yeah, but that ain't what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's well, I'm video. excited to find out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actual video. Is it? Yeah. That'll be interesting. Like, you have to sit here every day and, like, that's what gets you through the day. When you know 100, you're like, they they got me all this stuff, but then you're like, they don't have my other iCloud. And I thought they did this whole time, but then we found that they didn't. Yeah, yeah that'll be that'll come in handy then. <laughs> I'm like, that, <sighs> I don't tell me thought they had it. And I kept like, asking, 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 like, no, we haven't seen this in their part yet. We only seen it in ours. And I was like, oh. Hmm. Well. Anyway, if you've got something that's, you know, because of the trunk, yeah. it'll be the ticket to get you out where you're at. Oh, it will. Yeah. And then, you know, they can't do, um, what do they call that? Um, they can't do double jeopardy. So if you end up getting out, they can't come back later and be like, oh, hey, wait. Yeah. Yeah. And I was worried about Angel the whole time. Like, I was worried she was going to try to, you know, 
you do something to like sell it or something like that. I've worried about it for the longest time, but I have to say she hasn't. You know, I, a lot of that's because Edgar probably threatened her. <laughs> you know, who's who's Angel? Uh, Angel is his sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so she she, she knows a lot of babysitting for us and stuff like that. She actually lives in the Springs because, uh, they have the connection here for the Air Force Base. Okay. Like a, a guy she used to date or whatever, and so she had stayed there for the longest time and stuff like that. So I knew like I'd get to see Ty more once we got the Colorado Springs, you know, because of her being here, and I knew he could fly out, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. And she came out. So, and she babysit a lot. Like if I if I um wanted to go to the gym or something. And, Albert was working nights or whatever. She'd come over and babysit and, like, you know, stay there while I did whatever. Or, like, if Harley was, Harley was at work or something like that, she would just come over. And she actually came over while she didn't go on the cruise with us. But she came over. Okay. Day. She went over. She came over one day because, like, we hired a dog sitter. But then she also came over and checked on him on that. I think it was, like, the Saturday or Sunday or something. Yeah. yeah. So she was pretty, it was pretty helpful to have her there, but I knew like Ty could come into her house all the time and stuff like that. And so, you know, I, I couldn't just be like, you know, Ty had to be like, oh, this is my family. Say hi. You know what I mean? For the longest time. Yeah. Does he, um, does he write you letters and stuff to you? So, oh, so what the whole plan was, is like, um, uh, Edgar got an attorney and, um, they pretty much, you know, he's tight lipped on it, you know, and, he still acts a little funny about it, but um, he, he's not gonna let him just be like, we're not gonna let him incriminate himself or do anything. You know what I mean? Right. So we're just gonna use this because he he just doesn't say too much. You know what I'm saying? Other than hey, how are you doing? I love you. You know that type thing. Oh man, this will be interesting when it's all said and done. You know, because <laughs> they're just like. There's so much more to it, especially more than what a lot of people, well, most people, almost everybody <laughs> knows. They have all their, like, predispositions and stuff, and it's going to be interesting when they all see, like, that there is a lot more to it than what they knew. And that will probably make a lot more sense that way to them, too. Yeah, and not to mention, they don't, the key that's missing about how much Albert is involved is, like, it's going to be hilarious to me. I'm just have to sit back and laugh on that one. Yeah, there. So there is a video on YouTube. Some other. You have sixty seconds remaining. I'll make it super quick. Super, Please. super. YouTube people, whatever, made a video. I guess one of your old neighbors like came forward and like did an interview with them, and we're talking about like the kids and stuff like that. And they said that you know, shortly after everything took place last January, that like she came over and walked into the kitchen and like Al was loading up a shotgun and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's Leanne. That's Connor's mom. Okay. Yeah. She, she was talking to them. I didn't like listen to all of it. Cause I, and I was like, oh, I should probably ask about that. <laughs> yeah. Just, just think about that in your head. Think about what you uh, talked about in your letter. Put it all together. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard that, it like clicked and I was just like, oh man. <laughs> All right, well, make sure you get right, a hold of me sometime you. this week. I will, I will. When I find out again, like, a time that I have for a good deputy, because I'm going to do... Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay. Hey, Chase, happy Sunday. <laughs> um, KPM said, I can't wait for Crime Curious to tell us all what the AAF they've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, all I had to do was think about it in my head and put it all together. <laughs> Idiot. So, I don't know if this, this second iCloud ever surfaced. We know that the Trump card that she talks about is this video, which is allegedly a video of Albert that proves he was involved. Nobody ever saw it. It never came out. Um, at one point, she said that Angel had the video. And um, Angel is the one, remember, and Angel's a fake name, of course. But Angel is the one, remember, that she talked to Johnny Grusing about on March 2nd, 2020, when she got arrested. That was her story for him. 
you know, that, that, um, she met Angel on some app and her and Albert were considering swinging with Angel. Uh, I don't think that she told Johnny Grusing that she was actually their babysitter. Um, she also told people that Angel was pregnant with Albert and Letitia's baby, that she was about to have a baby and she was a surrogate so that Albert and Letitia could have a baby. Oh my God. Yeah. Shut up, Tisha. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we talked about this last night. You know, Letitia's like, well, I've got a trump card and you got to hold it all the way till the end if you want to get it in front of the jury. Yeah. Where did you go to law school, you idiot? Oh, Reverend Dr. T. Esquire. Not a good that that is completely incorrect, ma'am. <laughs> it's not even close to the truth. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Anyone who sees, by the way, thank mm. you for rejoining and thank you for joining Kim. I appreciate that, you guys. Um, oh my gosh. I just I don't even know how you sit there and, and act like that that's believable that somebody would do that right they have this video evidence that they are not guilty of something and they're just gonna sit and wait in jail for like i don't know three years you know yeah, they're just <laughs> waiting gonna, they're just gonna cool in jail for a while that's fine it's right. fine no big it, deal you know? i'm just yeah i'm just i'm just gonna cool right here for a while it's and fine. edgar's no not gonna deal. incriminate himself you know because leticia is protecting edgar and she's protecting albert even though she came out on crime online and said that Edgar and Albert are both guilty. Now she's gone back to the thing where she's protecting them. You know what she told aunt Katrina, she was going to get paid a hundred thousand or $150,000 for. And now she's saying that this video, if she tried to sell it, it would be worth a hundred thousand dollars. I might be exaggerating. I almost oh choked. My God. I know me too. <laughs> During that part, I was like, Oh my God, are you kidding me? She's oh, ridiculous. She, she truly believes she's a celebrity. Let's not forget, you know, the news people at the jail are paparazzi. And, yeah. you know, she, yeah, she just truly believes that she is some sort of celebrity. It's, it's crazy. And we've also heard her talking about that with all the letters she gets and, you know, the attention yeah. that she gets. Or how if Harley told her, if you were on my live with me, we'd get tons of viewers. Like she right. definitely thinks she's important. And, and her clothes are worth thousands of dollars. And this video is worth a hundred thousand. I mean, Letitia, <laughs> yeah. you know, she just makes money just being Letitia. I, I mean, well, she's very fashion. You guys are mean. She's are very mean. fashion. And mm -hmm. you know, Letitia, I'm sorry. Let me address her by all of her credentials. Reverend Dr. <laughs> T Esquire. You know, you, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even finish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, tried to slip it in at the end there. <laughs> oh my God, the X is that the X did me in. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we love oh you, Maureen, God. and True Crime Crazy. We love you, Bex, so much. Thank you love all you guys truly thank you we do everything. we do she's just so freaking ridiculous <laughs> you know she's gonna have her whole um matlock moment at you know at the end of her trial right you know where where yeah. <sighs> she's gonna ask somebody on the stand and what's your boyfriend's name after you know he's testified that he's been having an affair right with a woman yeah does she thinks she's gonna be all l woods that's not even how the, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. massive maple, that's so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. And can Again, we just talk just, about Amy for a second? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Project much? I mean, here she is talking to Letitia about this person that Letitia doesn't even know and how ridiculous it is. And she's releasing stuff on YouTube. Now, Amy did at least wait until after trial, before she tried to cash in on her Letitia conversations, which she was recording every single one, just like this other person was. 
and the way they talk shit, I'm telling you, and it's going to continue through the calls. And, and we have, um, for tonight, we have one more call with the YouTuber, which is followed the very next day by one more call with Amy L. Oh, okay. And, um, and, and, and here's, here's Letitia just playing them all against each other. You know, she's got the moles telling information about the moles. And um, it's my understanding that the unknown YouTuber is still in daily contact with Letitia. I mean, she really thinks that they're friends and that's fine. You know, um, I am glad that we are taking the high road here and not calling out her identity. Um, I'm proud of us because um, I didn't want to do that at first. And you guys talked the sense into me, so I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> but I'm proud of us uh, because you, when Evan. when we're all involved in listening to these people act like idiots and get catty, you know that shit's contagious, and sometimes it can make me oh, want to yeah. act like an idiot and get catty. Um, so that's oh, all I wanted to you. say is thank you. That's what friends well, are for. So They're welcome. supposed to. They're supposed to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Right. Well, you guys yeah, are well, really good welcome. at it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she tells me that too somehow. <laughs> Just like <laughs> <laughs> that no, almost. If I was a different kind of person, I would think that was kind of a backhanded compliment. But since I know <laughs> you, I know it's not. <laughs> no, it's not backhanded at all. <laughs> no, I really do mean it. You know I do. I know you do. Yeah. It just struck me funny as how you said it. You guys are yeah. really good at it. You guys are really good at it. <laughs> Why don't we just be nagging the shit out of you? No, <laughs> Maureen, okay. thank you for joining. <laughs> I get all Which uptight. Is and then you guys are like, all right, she'll calm down in a second. All right. Well, we which if my kids could hear it. this, they would think they would be like, oh, yeah, that's completely on brand for mom. She's a whole she's a huge nag. <laughs> that's all she does, which I don't even like yeah. doing it. But sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I'm always that friend once I'm close to somebody. I will not play that role at all if we're just like casual friends. But yeah. once I'm like close enough to you where I, I think that I can without like a without you taking it wrong and stuff. And I'm always that yeah. friend because yeah, I don't yep. know. I think, I don't know. I just, and you I guys will do tell it that. For, we all do it. Oh yes. Yeah. We all do it for each other. I will be the friend that tells you, girl, you tucked your skirt into your pantyhose, but nobody wears pantyhose <laughs> anymore. Or the girl that, or the, the friend that says you got something in your teeth. I can't focus on what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> or the girl that will tell you, or your friend that will tell you, you got toilet paper. I'm not ever going to let a, one of my friends going around, you know, walk around looking unloved and uncared for. It's not going to happen. Right. Yeah. And and I want to read Missy's comment, though, because I'm curious what you guys think about this, because I've thought this a million times. She says, how does she come up with all these stories? It has to be all consuming. Just boggles my mind that someone who make up all these unbelievable stories. And I feel the same way. I do wonder if it's all consuming. It must be. Everything is a game to her. Her stories come from everywhere, from social media, from movies, from it's just crazy watching the inner workings behind the scene. I'm so glad we've done this because it really gives us a look at, at a person like her that I don't think we, we could have gotten before. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've never had an up close view to someone like this in their inner workings and all their, yeah, all their stuff like this. Well, right. Had we just watched the trial, we wouldn't know any of this stuff, right? This is all behind the scenes going on simultaneously. Um, but I personally think that Letitia has been, this has been all consuming Letitia since this happened. This is all she's been thinking about. And how she's going to work different angles. She's always got multiple angles going at the same time. Yeah. Um, Barbie, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's here and has helped with the calls and all of that stuff. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And also, she's forbidden to talk at the jail, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so that that is probably so when you have nothing to do, you got nothing but time on your hands. You know what they what they say, idle hands are the devil's playground. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah. should be getting out. Tisha Lee and a job. She needs some some type of something to keep her mind occupied other than, you know, getting on the phone and causing all kinds of havoc and destroying people's lives, both literally and figuratively. Yeah, for fun, for fun. Mm -hmm. Some of it's for no reason at all, but you're bored. Exactly. Well, let her be Um, bored in prison and let her try to manipulate those ladies because it's not going to go very well for very long. You're right. No, it's going to be a problem. With other people who do the same, exactly. Um, Melissa, thank you so much for doing the Jade Raid over here. And I do want to just take a second and let you guys know if you haven't heard about Melissa's channel, she has an awesome channel. She's been covering Letitia's jail files. The Nightbot just dropped the link. Um, Thank you, MJ. But all right, anything before we get into the next one? Uh, nope. The next one is with Harley and it is 14 minutes and 19 seconds. All right. Okay. And then if for any reason you hadn't subscribed to the girls on panels channels, definitely subscribe. The links are being dropped now. And there are some calls that are not released here and over there and just on all three channels, different things that aren't necessarily on one. So I definitely subscribe to all of them. Okay. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Why am I still wearing a Santa hat? That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still ready. <laughs> okay. Hi, people. Hey. Okay that you're meeting. I'm sorry. I forgot the call. Okay. Just reminded you. I had a schedule a big event for this morning. I totally just forgot. You had a schedule what? I said I had to do this big open house for you. And I had to do so many calls. Oh, yeah, I see. I understand. Did you finish it? Yeah, I'm waiting on two of the people to call me back today. Um, so I can get pricing and stuff. But other than that, I'm going to have to make a flyer and post it and stuff. Nice, nice. Well, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, did you get your school stuff? Um, I got one of, I got one thing, but they didn't do my fast, so they just gave me this coronavirus relief fund that's like a thousand dollars, but they haven't done everything else, so I'm still waiting on it. Oh, you're still like pending on that? I mean, it's approved, you're just waiting on it. Yeah. Cool, cool. They have a Corona relief fund? Yeah, the school got like a million dollars or something. And they're giving it to students that need money or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't you email me today? Who? I'm Brenda. Oh, go. what she say? She literally said... I just wanted I just wanted you to know that I'm doing well okay. I had my surgery and feel healing from the cut. Hope you're handling things. Call me when you can so you can catch up with how <laughs> they're doing. I want I wanted to be like you blocked me, lady, but I just didn't answer. Him. <laughs> She's what you say. She like, oh, I didn't know. I don't know how to block people. I, did, I didn't do that. I know that is what she was saying. Could be what she says for sure. But just not gonna even be at that. And grandma got COVID. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. So she's a hoe. And then she already had the one that she Oh my god. Oh, the what, huh? is that? what is that clicking? I don't know. Yes, you do. What clicking? Oh, I thought you heard that. No. Can you read anything? 
think now? No. I just... Just you. <laughs> Besides that... See and if I was no. there, I could take chance. You don't have to worry about it stressing me out. I'm about to take her on a walk right now. Is it 72 degrees today? 72? Well, that's good. 72, you yeah. know. Um. Oh, man. Well, it's not here. It's snow on the ground again. <laughs> There's snow on the ground? Yeah, it just snowed again. <laughs> like oh, yesterday, gosh. I... Was it yesterday? Right, day before yesterday, I had got to I had to walk over to a phone call and I got to walk outside for like ten seconds and it was like sixty degrees and then they were like, Oh, don't worry, it's gonna snow and then sure enough there was snow everywhere. Oh my yeah, don't like that. I was like, That's crazy. It's been it's been seventy two for like the last like two days or so. I've been like just outside because I'm like, oh. It helps the breathing too. Yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to put on clothes and take her home walk, but I can't find my clothes. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you something else. Sadie, come here. You still haven't moved? No. You know, I still got to clean it. No, it's clean. Don't have time. You said you got time? Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Look. Hi. 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 <laughs> they didn't know how to act yesterday when I took them outside and it was warm. They probably like, oh, yay. I know they're like, confused. Like, just let me lay out here and roll down. I know, Sydney, Sydney was just chilling outside yesterday on this map. Oh, man. I mean, I don't know. I need, huh? some, I need some good, like, well, we have to go so long from eating dinner to breakfast. And mm -hmm. then if I eat, and then sometimes I don't eat dinner. And then, well, a lot of times I don't eat dinner. But, and it's like 18 hours, but then when you get breakfast, it's like you waited so long, you're just still hungry. <laughs> You know, I'm not going to eat, like, the grits and all that stuff. Do they, get, do they give you drinks often? No, we don't get drinks. <laughs> mm. Drink water. I have the spigot. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I have the spigot. Yeah, like, you just out of your sink. Out of your what? Like, out of your sink. Just water out of your sink. They don't give you water bottles? No, girl. <laughs> so what are you think? So all of that's crazy. Yeah, and then like it's the same the same meals like every like it just alternates with like the same selections. And then lunch is the same every day. It's some kind of meat that I'm not sure. <laughs> And then bread. It's usually moldy and moist and yeah, it goes. And then um yeah. <laughs> and then like 
it'd be either a case of rotate oatmeal grits, cream of wheat, oatmeal grits, cream of wheat. Mm. And then lunch is meat every day, every single day, wheat, carrots, chips. And then, mm. <laughs> and then dinner is just, it rotates in my, it'll be like macaroni. But, then like aren't, but aren't we allowed to send you something? No, uh uh-uh. uh. Not in my ward. I thought. Um, I've never, I can't get none of it in here. Come here, baby. Come on, Sadie. I had a lady yesterday who was like, oh my God, if you get any skinnier. <laughs> I was like, oh, well. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, I know. You're going to be my size. I know. Wait, baby. It'll be all right. No, can't take your baby, salvation. where's your friend go? Your friend's right here, baby. Can't take your brain. Can't take your salvation. Can't there's a little, like, Amer- there's, like, an American bulldog that stays um, <clears throat> a few houses down from us. And Sadie, like, loves him. I love him. I want to take him for myself. Oh. He's, like, yeah, a, he's, like, well, he should look more like Chance. Yeah, it, he looks like Chance, but he's like, see, I think this is where I went wrong for choosing my dog. <clears throat> Sadie, you're not going to pull me. No. Just walk by my side. Come here. Just walk by my side. Um, Because he, he looks like, he looks like Chance, but like not really. But he's like a skinnier, like, like more strong version of Chance. Skinny. He's not like the fat. Huh? He's skinnier? Yeah, he's not like the fat version. He's like as skinny as in bulky. Oh, yeah. Like strong. Okay. He's like strong. But he's still like little like Sadie size. Like as far as like height and like width and stuff. But then that's the difference because he's American. Not yeah. Either. Yeah. So he would be more, uh, his bone structure would be different and he'd be more fit. Yeah. The reason why I think there's just so many issues with me and Chance <laughs> is because since he has Beagle in him, he doesn't have, like, the bulldog hair. So, like, his hair mom is so thick. So, when I, like, sweep, I literally can, like, make a whole new him with his hair that comes off every single day. Yeah. Like, it's not like Sadie's hair. Sadie's hair is really thin. And, like, you, like, you can't ever tell when her hair is anywhere because it doesn't fall out like his but since yeah. he has beagle in him, his hair is so thick. And no other bulldog has thick hair like he does. Yes, and it's the, got that orange color tone too. Yeah. When I tell you I sleep every day and I can make a whole new him with his hair, like I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah. Well, these are lessons you learned because I told you that about the Jeep. And it looked. You, you told to me this about the what? I told you this about the Jeep. Right? And then you wouldn't listen to me, right? I know. And then I tried to tell you this about the dog when I was showing you other dogs. Yeah, you wouldn't listen, right? But but I like Sadie. Uh, but I ne- but you never... <laughs> but Sadie was the pick that we picked out. <laughs> like, but I, I like even tried Sadie. To, but I even tried to show you, like, they had another little... Adult, they had other little balls and terriers. I was like, oh, what about these little cute little tiny ones? And you were like, hey! Oh. hey. Is it dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh yeah, Tyler told me y'all were coming down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, it's good seeing you. Which dog do they play with? Sadie. Hi, Hannah. What? Good. How are you? <sighs> All the residents, you know, and me bother me when I'm walking around. <laughs> That's part of living there, working there. No. Oh my gosh, Sadie's trying to lay in the grass. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. My God. What does she do? Oh my gosh, she sees like the actual real glass. 
gra- grass is coming out and she's like playing in it and she's sticking her head in it. Oh, because it's about time for it to grow back. Yeah, like it's like the really green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Baby, come on. Let's go. Come on. It's funny. You have one minute remaining. Cool. All righty. Well, it's going to hang up. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Okay, bye. Bye. <sighs> okay. I split my screen so I could take notes to make it a little easier so I don't forget things I wanted to comment on during the calls. Um, first of all, I've never heard uh, Harley start a call like she did there. She was like, hey, beautiful. Kind of the way I would expect Tisha to talk to Harley. Not that it matters. I call my mom beautiful as well. But um, I thought that was interesting. But then the first thing that they talk about is Aunt Brenda's email. And she just wanted her to know she's doing okay. And I, I know that she may have blocked her or whatever. But you guys, I can't help but feel bad for Aunt Brenda because in these moments, not always, but in this moment, because she's had surgery and they've obviously, she's obviously not checked on her. She's like, I just want you to know, you know, I'm okay from my surgery. Like this lady has funded your whole life right now. Why can't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. The, the attitude towards Aunt Brenda, but um, whatever. And then you guys go ahead. I agree. But I'll let you go ahead first. I have to agree about about the way that Aunt Brenda is getting treated. Look, I I don't think anybody would ever call me an Aunt Brenda fan, okay? Because I'm not. But she's a human being, you know? And um, I don't know. I just feel like they're yeah. mean to her for really no reason, you know? Yeah. I mean, if if you're if you don't, okay. Let me, I don't like I don't like some of um, Aunt Brenda's, uh, thoughts. Um, you know, she said some things, right. Yeah, me neither. I wouldn't yeah. have anything to do with her. She's not my, she, I wouldn't, she, you know, but, but if you're going to, she's good enough to take money from, but you talk horribly about her. That's my problem. See, I would never have anything to do with people with a person like Aunt Brenda in the first place. Not, I wouldn't even take their money. Right. And so I would be perfectly fine to run my mouth because I'm not taking her money, but they're taking her money and still running their mouths. And it's rude. Yeah, it is. And, and I'm, and I'm tired asked. of the way she dogs the shit out of chance. You know, oh. I just want to tell people I'm probably preach anybody that I would say this to in this chat. I would imagine they already know this and would never, but dogs know when you don't like them, they're not stupid, you know, and right. they can sense that. And when you, you know, and, and, and it does it's, there's not, there's nothing wrong with having, sometimes it doesn't work out. Dogs have a personality and sometimes personalities don't mesh. The, the kindest thing that you can do in that situation is to find a home for the dog where you know that their personalities mesh, not just any home. You know, you, it, when you take a dog home with you, you, it's a responsibility that you're, ma- you know, you're making a promise and I know that things come up and I'm not saying that you have to keep a dog forever. But what I'm saying is if it doesn't work out, it's your responsibility to make sure uh, as much as you can that the, 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 the home that you pick for the dog to rehome to isn't going to, it's not going to be, have to be rehomed again due to a personality conflict because that's it's it's unset it's hard for dogs and can you imagine being an animal and your whole world is turned upside down chance's whole world has been turned upside down moving from colorado to um south carolina or north carolina i never get it right and i'm probably not going to for the rest of this case so we just should give up on that cuz i already have um and then letitia gets um arrested Harley moves into another place with people. Then these people move out. 
and he hardly can vent. Letitia can vent. Humans can vent to other human beings, but dogs have no way of communicating that. It just breaks my heart and it pisses me off. I'm sorry. It's sad. No, it is sad. And don't, what, I'm curious, Jen commented this in the chat, but um, I could not wait to comment on the people that were playing with the dog. And then Tisha's like, which one did they play with? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, right. it's almost like they don't like Chance because his name is Chance, which is the name that they gave him, which he's named after Harley's dad, which I've always thought was weird. But it's yeah. like they're punishing the dog. And it's to me, it's cruel. If if they're, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Yeah. Curious, Jen, anything on that before I go on to the a couple other things that I noticed? And let me, wait, before you do that, let me just clarify something really quick. I'm right. not, ju it's just frustrating for me to hear. I know that Harley is a kid. And right. I know that. Letitia, it's it's really Latisha's job to be like, listen, Harley. So I'm not really blaming Harley in this scenario because Letitia does her fair share of sh of smack talking poor chance, and that's who the I have the issue with. Harley is is just out on her own. She just turned 18, yeah. And it and it's Letitia's responsibility as the parent and also the person who decided to get the dog because at that time she was the adult. You know, so it's really Letitia's yeah. job to, to teach these kinds of things. You're right. And Harley should and not Lil be And Lil Red, too. Yep. Harley's and what Lil Red said. Mm -hmm. Those dogs great. did witness the murder. Yeah. Um, and I just, I agree. I think that uh, even Harley having to be responsible for them. Well, even another thing, uh, Harley, and this is in my notes, too. Do you need anything, though, to her mom? It's not, mom, do you need anything? What can I, how can I help you, you know? not Tisha asking her daughter. Never. It's, yeah. It's Harley asking her. And that is so just frustrating because Harley is so young and at a very vulnerable place in life, not to mention her whole world's been thrown upside down too. And I don't think she's perfect. She's made her mistakes, but let's be real here. She's still a kid, even if she's of age. And She's also been taken from her home, you know, lost her stepdad, lost her mom, lost her little brother. Now she's at the center of attention on social media for in all the wrong ways. Like maybe you could help her. She's trying to figure out how to do college, how to do bills, all those kinds of things. Maybe you could actually help her. But no, she's she's concerned about helping Tisha. So, yeah, it's it's hard for I'm an animal lover. I love all animals except for. I don't, it's not that I don't love them. I'm just afraid of frogs and birds freak me out, but I would never do any, I would, even though we used to have this toad that came around and he still does come around. I've <laughs> never tried to get rid of him or I just avoid him. I'll just go right. The, I'll just turn right around and go back in if I see him and birds kind of creep me out too, but I would never do anything to hurt a bird. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it hurts my heart because I know I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm an animal lover and I, I feel bad for, for chance because I mean, it's just, they just dog the shit out of that poor thing, you know, poor yeah. little guy. He can't do nothing right. Poor chance. Yeah. All right. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, psycho mentioned Dieter, um, from Watts. Yes. <clears throat> and the only other thing on my notes, and then I'll let you go curious, Jen, and speak everything on yours. Uh, cause I was trying to pause. So you got, I don't know if I should read through them all or like pause and get your guys thoughts on them along the way. But um, the last thing was the, her talking again about, you know, going so long without food. The, I, the lady told me yesterday, if I get any skinnier, her, she's get she gets any skinnier. And then um, the water bottles <laughs> thing, that was kind of funny too. The, uh, which, you know what, to be fair to Harley, I just thought about this because I have my brothers in jail and um, there's some things going on. And I was curious. Uh, he he just he's sick right now. So I was curious, like if he could get a lot of water because I know you need that to get better, you know. And um, I was also wondering, like, is is he have to only drink water from that toilet sink or like, can you purchase water bottles? I wondered the same thing. So. Yeah. It's, it's a testament to how, how, and I think Pete, this is actually 
I'm glad you brought that up. And then I'm really going to let Jen talk. I'm sorry, Jen. I just got to say this one last thing and I'm going to shut up. I promise. <laughs> it's a testament to how young Harley really is and how naive she really is. And I think people should probably when they're uh, being um, extraordinarily harsh and critical of her should rem think back to this conversation. The fact that she's blown away that you, there's not water bottles in jail, I think is a huge testament to she's naive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, now it's Jen's turn for reals. I'm not going to say nothing else. I'm going to mute too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should I be mean and just like not say anything right now? No, <laughs> hey, if you want no to, you're whatever. apologizing, but every time you did it, I laughed because right in front of me, I have a <laughs> pint of Ben and Jerry's caramel chocolate cheesecake, and I'm like, yeah. no, 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 keep going, keep going, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I have like, too. <laughs> so now I have like two bites left and a whole pint of uh, chocolate cheesecake. Hey, look, it's a Letitia night. I'm just, I've just yeah. heard it in my mind. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only have a couple of notes and, and, um, and, and I, you know, I mean, I agree with everything that you guys have said. Um, I noticed that when Harley said Deborah had COVID, it was just crickets. Like neither one of them actually seemed to care about it. They were just yeah. stating a fact. Like yeah. it was yes. the, the sky is blue. Deborah has COVID. Right. Um, and and I know that I know that Letitia, you know, put her whole insanity defense on how terrible her mother was and and how all these men came in and out of her life and just abused her, and it was all because she had a bad mother. I mean, that was Letitia's version, more or less, right? In a nutshell. Pretty much. Acor according to Dr. Lewis, anyway. Um, and Letitia, too. But but anyway, um, remember, Deborah did show up with Brenda and Dakota. I, I mean, I, I wonder, oh, was Letitia estranged from her mother before she killed Gannon? Or was it after Deborah left town... Um, did, did Letitia start to realize she needed to turn against her in order to save herself kind of thing? Wow. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Because you're I, right. She did show up. Yes. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she did. did. Yeah. And there are some calls with her in the very beginning and we did have a gap, you know, they yeah. played uh, March, April and May on that other channel that won't be named. Um, and then we started in October so we need to figure out um, at what point we're going to get June, July, August, September. Is that when they talk? That's the gap. I know, uh, but is that when she talked to her mom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure that there are, I mean, I guess maybe, do you guys want to, do you guys want to run all the way through them all the way to December 14th of 2022 is the final jail call? I feel like this is my thoughts on it. I was just thinking about this the other day. I don't see how we could. And I don't, it was just like when I was going through the, um, the jail files, I did not feel right. And I still, cause my last episode was taken down. It, it did not feel completed. And I, I just don't know that I can do that. Like it, it bothers my anxiety. I think that like, if we're going to do, do it, we, we need to get them all, but I don't know. That's just kind of, yeah. No, I definitely, I, I definitely want to get them all. But what I mean is, do we stop now and go back, mm. or do we continue all the way end and then circle back? I think continue where we're at. What do you think, Jen? I think continue where we're at and then circle back. Okay. So shall it be. <laughs> so the push the vampire has button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me just take just a second and say thank you so much to Linda for joining and Lace Lemons. Andrea, thank you for being a member 10 months. I appreciate that so much. And then thank you, No Malicious, <laughs> for the five memberships. Yes, Michelle. <laughs> uh, no Malicious. I hear in my head uh, Michelle's comment where um, she remembers the quote, she weren't no mom. <laughs> uh, I hear it. I hear it in her voice. Uh, 
I wonder, I mean, I need to, I'm, I'm going to be in touch with, do you guys know Dr. G explains? Mm, yes. Yes. Um, so he's expecting my email. Um, oh. May, Mayla's mom is a moderator for him. And I did a show on my channel earlier, you know, the true crime melted my brain and it went so well, you guys, I had a guest come up and it was a wo the woman that I met at trial that gave me the bracelets that knows Landon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there. I was listening. I was, oh, I, but I, I was working. Chat, I, I did. I said hi. Oh, yeah, I was I wasn't Other home. Other people oh. saw me in, in the chats. They said hi to me. I love Dr. G, too. Yeah, I'm so sorry too. I missed it, which you already know why. I was not. I home. do, too. And I would really, really like Dr. G and the behavior panel to go over um, the docu uh, these interviews that uh, Gypsy is giving, not so much the ones on um, Lifetime, but more specifically, the Good Morning America and the Nightline one. I would yeah. really, really, she does some things in there that because I've watched both for so long that I am like, oh, oh. Right. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize that he had done Letitia content. He, I, yeah, he did. You didn't. Yeah, I, yeah. I knew that. I thought we reviewed it together. We I might know. have. Was oh, that well, maybe I just didn't put the two together? Because yeah. I was thinking that's not that's something different than the behavior panel. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We yeah. Did. Listen, I had to hang on to all these details of this case, and I let some other stuff go. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I definitely understand that because I'm always trying to put more stuff in and you just, it's impossible to remember it all and everything. Mm -hmm. you know? My very favorite behavior panel analysis, though, hands down, is when they did Boone because mm -hmm. um, they kept referring to her T-Rex arm because it, it's actually something that you do. It's a defense mechanism or whatever. And it just, every time they said it, I couldn't get enough and I giggled so much. <laughs> their analysis was, and it was hilarious. It was just, their whole thing was hilarious, but also informative. I mean, I, I remember those things and I just, they stay in my brain. And when I watched some of the interviews that she did, I had some thoughts and I, here, and I'm not going to say what they are because I'm curious if they are the same as um, the behavior panel if, and Dr. G, if they will see it the same way. Yeah, yeah I can't wait. I It, it came from a, a different episode of the true crime melted my brain. But what happened is um, somebody wrote to me and suggested that, that I get a hold of him. Ooh, and, okay. um, and so then I talked about it and then, you know, um, so we'll see where it goes. But yes, I had what, said, what, like, what? on one of the first episodes that my book, not only does my my book need its own lawyer, but it also needs its own psychiatrist. Like, for the good of the reader, I need to be in touch with, you know, I've got the f former FBI, you know, PI. I've got a defense attorney. I've, uh, I, I've you know, I'm... <laughs> I, I don't understand the mental health stuff well enough to be actually inking it, you know, so I, mm -hmm. I have to reach out to consultants. I have to get the professionals. But I said that my book needed a lawyer and a doctor. And I think um, Dr. G might be it. I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. Lori, we that's love you awesome. too. Thank you so much. And I, and I did see that <clears throat> he did something on Gypsy. But if I remember right, he did her um, like interrogation. I, I would like one of the, I would like both of them, honestly, both channels to do her interviews, not, yeah. not so much the lifetime. And I'll tell you why I don't want, I don't, I don't think the lifetime is a good one because even I can see the edits in it and um, like good morning America and um, oh, nightline. They, actually, they uh, yeah, she has, they air live when they're when they're played and so um it's a lot so it's a little bit it's a little less edited there's a little less control and she just does some things that i just would i noticed them in those interviews more than i noticed it in the lifetime thing and i just would be very curious so if y'all can hear me out there in youtube land please do it i watched her all the way home all her different interviews e-news access hollywood all the different ones um and i don't want to get too far away from this <laughs> right. no, no, no. subject no, because please. people get pissed i'm just saying yes, you right. really do take it out on me in the comments but i just want to say 
the more I watched, the further I, way, I went away from agreeing more with you, Jen, and having more sympathy for her. I can't help it. I, I know. Mm -hmm. And she admit this is why, because she took a lot of accountability in some of those and admitted that she knew she couldn't walk. She or she knew she could walk and she, you know, she played along with it and and she should have reached out to her dad or something instead of doing what she did. Like she she took some accountability. I was surprised to see. But also um, look here, body language review. We did. You see us in the corner. We did a review oh, okay. of Dr. Yeah. Lee. Uh -huh. Wow. Months. I was even there. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> I'm going to share it chat though so you guys if you didn't watch it so you can wait a minute it. you guys what if i was dissociated <laughs> well Probably. i already told you i've emailed dr lewis so don't you worry you're going to get a full checkout don't 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 worry <clears throat> she's going to check you completely out and we're going to know all the things okay but i'm going to need a cat scan you got a current cat scan no no it's duly no. noted okay well we'll get yes, you a cat was, scan yes. then <laughs> It was, it was, shocking. I, I, I don't know which Jen you're talking to, but I do feel, I do have sympathy for Gypsy. I do feel sorry for her. I know but you I do, also, but I was talking to you yeah. because you have, uh, you know, a more, I don't want to say harsh, but just an it, opinion that's a little different from most. I have I a very, I have a very, um, I, I, here's the deal. There isn't, I think, let's just talk about it another time, but I do okay. have an opinion. You're right. But let's do it because I want to talk about it. now I'm interested. But OK, so we're on to uh, call number. Is this the end of the call we just listened to? Yes. So 24, yeah. which is do you know or do I need to press pause? This is the YouTuber, no, I, I think. Um, okay. No, this is no, this is Aunt Brenda. Oh, now, God. Now, remember, this is wait, wait, hold on. Before I do that, <laughs> I think I know what I did. I remember um, listening to somebody talk about. The, I just don't think I paid attention to him as the host. And I just, you know, I was hearing him and I was studying what was on the screen and I just didn't, I didn't leave him in the information I took in. Does that make sense? No crickets. Can you well, I got distracted because I'm, I'm looking at Allie highlighting comments and that got distracting. Oh, I'm sorry. So no, no, it's oh. not your fault. It's I'm. It's me. I, I I need to be able to listen and read at uh, at the same time, and it's a problem. It's a developing skill that I'm working on. <laughs> it is a developing skill, and I'm reading mm -hmm. Cassandra say this was some long commentary this time. I told you we can't get too far. What were you gonna say, Jen? I was just I was just gonna say call number twenty four is Brenda on February twenty fifth. And it's about 14 and a half minutes long. And just keep in mind that this is the first time Leticia is talking to Aunt Brenda since Harley told her that Aunt Brenda had a tummy tuck and lied to Julie and said it was cancer. That's okay. right. That's right. That part makes sense. <laughs> she blocked Harley supposedly too. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cassandra, that's sweet. Thank you. It's okay. I'd rather the calls with commentary from you three than none. Well, I'll tell you what, there are some people who are not going to be happy, but um, that's okay. And if you are not happy, come over to the ward case studies and tell me all about it. Please don't tell Allie about it. It's not her fault. No, it's, it's okay. It's my fault too. It's okay. And if you're not happy about it, go watch them on Curious Gins when they play without commentary. All right. Y'all ready? Yes. Okay. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hey, baby. Hey, you doing okay? How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm sore, but I'm doing all right. Are you? you yeah, I had to have, yeah, I had to have some surgery done. And, um, I went Tuesday. It didn't last Tuesday, and I went back Tuesday, this past Tuesday. And they took one of the drainage tubes out. And then I got to go back this coming to to try to take the other drainage tubes out. Yeah. And I'm just sore. I can't even clean my own stinking rump. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm having it kind of tough right now. Goodness. Yeah, so. I thought you were going to wait on it. I, I couldn't wait on this surgery. I thought, I thought it was just a tummy tuck. No, this surgery was just something kind of 
kind of like a tummy tuck, but it weren't a tummy tuck. Uh, I had stomach. Oh. Tell nobody because it's nobody's business but mine. Well, why didn't you tell anybody? Well, for it is, Shalene. You could have told me. You know what? I didn't want. I don't want you to worry about me. Well, why not? You're, You're not supposed to. Hey, you got enough on your plate right now. Okay, and that's fine, but that doesn't mean that I don't care about you and worry about you. I know you care about me, but I just, I just, I, I just kept it to myself. But, Aunt Brenda, you're really all I have left from my family, so I don't like you keep that well, from me. Well, I kept it to myself. I, I done the best I could, and I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. So what are they and, thinking about? Well, when you get the tubes and stuff out of me, the other drainage tube and stuff out of me. He's going to let me rest for a few weeks. Yeah. I got four holes in my back. They had to drill four holes in my back. Mm. And that Julie came over. God knows I love her to death. Lord have mercy. I messed on myself the bad Sunday. I couldn't clean myself up. Julie came over and cleaned me up. Thank you. That's good. I told Julie, I said, Julie, I love you to death, but baby, you got heavy hands. I said, you can't, you can't. <laughs> yeah. You can't manhandle me, baby. You got heavy <laughs> hands. Lighten up a little bit. She said, friend, I can't help it. I said, I know you can't, baby. I said, God knows your hands are heavy. Yeah. Uh. So she come and she cleaned me up for me. I was really glad to see her now. I ain't no lie. Yeah. But um That's good. I'm just sore. I'm just I'm just sore. And he told me I was gonna be sore for a while. So I'm walking with a I got me a stick, um, that I've been helping me walk. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to get around by myself and cook for myself and do for myself and I wish I could help you, Brenda. I I just I just I'm not going to even worry about it anymore. Mm. I'm I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I, I was looking a while ago outside at the yard and stuff that needs to be done around here. I just I can't do it anymore. I might have to let this place go to Shalim. Well, I told you that a long time ago, <laughs> but I know you have a, you know, I know, but I'm just saying it. I'm, I'm just going to have to let this place go. I can't, I can't keep, I'm, I'm just stressed out, really. Yeah, I told you that too, but still you're not even happy being there. Well, no. So I'm, I'm going to. All your friends and everything, like you don't. You need to be like somewhere where you got a community of people like that are your age. I could do stuff, and I mean, I know you got some I, people, but I, I'm saying like, you know, I just feel like um, why would I have people not my age? Not not your age, but like you, you're not your age number, but like people who are doing things that you can do more your age than most people can their your age. What I'm saying is like you need some people who are out doing stuff the same thing that you can do. Most people your age it can't do as much as you can do. You know what I mean? You've been able to No, but I still, I did a lot. I mean, I did good. You know what That's I'm what saying? I said. You're, for your age, you do better it, than most people your age. It, it just hit me all at once. Well, it didn't hit me at one time. I knew all about this year boy before Tommy got sick. Tommy knew about it before he got sick. But then you probably made it worse by waiting. Well. But you had to, you were taking care of Uncle Tommy. Yep. Tommy was my priority. I know, I know, Aunt Brenda. I got somebody. I got somebody that's going to be coming in a couple months, and if the Lord's willing, and if it just will, I'll have somebody here to help me get rid of everything here and get rid yeah. of everything. And I'm, I'm going to move back. I think, I think I'll move back to Texas with them. That's probably the best thing too, because I know that's what you want. Yeah, he's military and he's a surgeon, so. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm, that's what, that's what we're, right now, that's what, that's our plan. Yeah. That's, that's our plan right now. 
So he said once he got home and stuff like that and got here, he'd go ahead and see about getting rid of everything here at the house and get situated where I could just move from here. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. He, he, he said, I didn't need to find a shift like that anymore. I agree with yeah. you 100%, Brenda. I've always told you that about living there anyway in North Carolina. Just, you guys are always so much happier in Texas anyway. Yeah, there's nothing here. I agree. That's why I didn't like I would, it. I wouldn't have come back this lifetime if it hadn't been Tommy won't be there at the bottom of Yeah, I remember that, yep. But my mom you know how Tommy feel about Mama. He loves yeah. Mama. Okay. So what's going on with you, baby? That's enough about me. I got your um, I got your card, but the only thing I was gonna say, well, I know you've been busy, but if there's any way you could email to see if they could call me because I can't call them from these phones because it ain't private. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So you got his name doing all. That's that's my main concern. Yeah, I got the name, and then tomorrow I go to the hearing to like go uh, to like release my attorneys. Um, so I go to that hearing tomorrow. Uh, so I have a I think yesterday, but I had to get moved to tomorrow. Um, so I do that tomorrow, but then like um, he could be able to call or whatever. It's just that I if I call from these phones, it's not like you know, privilege. You know what I mean? To like, to like, to like, tell them like have questions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You don't have that card right there handy, do you? It's right upstairs. Yeah. Why well, you need the number? Well, well, I was gonna tell you if I had the number, I could write it down. I could call him. Hold on, I'll uh, give it to you. It only take me a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Remember the number. You still there? I'm just holding. Okay, it's nine five four. Nine five four. Seven one six. Seven one six seven six seven seven. And um, when you said he called, sir, what are you supposed to tell him? He's what now? So, um, after tomorrow, well, tomorrow my counsel will be re like released, and then he can just call and say that he is calling about um, talking to me about re like certain things for representation or whatever. And then uh, he okay. just has to give him his name and stuff like that. Now, and he's going to call that same number I called to get hooked up to the phone line, right? Uh, no, he would actually call the, the facility. Um, let me ask Miss Robinson if she can tell me what it is. Hold on. Um, she said it's just the visitation number on the jail website. The visitation number? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then I can do that. Yeah, if you look on the I'll jail website, the I have the different numbers to call and make visitation. So he just would say that he yeah. um, he has like a, he's calling about a consultation or legal advice or whatever that I already know who he is or whatever. That way I can ask and him then they'll get it. And then they'll get up with you. Yeah, that way I can ask them questions in private instead of having a, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Instead of being recorded. I, I'll, 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 I'll take care of that just as soon as we get off yeah. the phone. Yeah, yeah, whenever. I know you got all that going on. And then um, I appreciate that. But I go to court tomorrow for to do that, to release those. But, oh, God. I'll get all my stuff here, I guess. I'll get They'll give me all my stuff here somehow. Be good. Think today? Yeah, yeah, I got we got that stuff from the iCloud, so that all that stuff from my all that stuff on my iCloud it'll it'll pretty much um you know, it'll it'll prove the innocent. So I've been trying to do a lot better now that I 
now I got all that stuff in my position, you know. So mm. I hope so, baby, because you got you got some people who really pushing this niche to you. I mean, I'm just being honest and upfront with you. Yeah, but Brenda, people see uh people see actual evidence that exonerates somebody, they're not gonna be like, Oh, well it's still you know, charge her. But I'm just saying you just you just watch your P's and Q's and stuff for now and, and you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I know. Because they're gonna try to get you to get more trouble and you're already kinda of, you know, you're in enough right now, but you know, they're gonna to try to push you in doing other things you ain't got no business doing and stuff. So that's yeah. that's what it's saying. Well plus two, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be that kind of snitch ain't burned. That's too dangerous and people will end up dead, you know. Like because mm -hmm. that's the bad thing about it. you're not gonna be a snitch. So you know that's how how it is, especially dealing with a a dangerous organization, you're not gonna be a snitch, you know. So you gotta just prove that you're not the one, you know. Yeah, but still, you you, you still got to be careful because there's people in there that want to try to get you to do stuff you ain't got no business doing just so just so you'll get in trouble. Is what I'm yeah. saying. Oh yeah, I agree. And, I and so that's what I'm saying. I so, do. Your mama's sugar is real low. She had to go to the doctor the other day when she come up here at the house to check on me. I, like yeah. I said, it was a bad day. Sunday was a bad day. And her sugar got low. And um, she's still feeling bad, too. And she's got COVID, too? Ah, uh, she's got a bad... She got, she got... The doctor said it weren't COVID. She had pneumonia. Now oh, that's, but then that's now she tested she positive for COVID now, just yesterday. What, did you talk to her? No, Harley said that uh, she sent her, that she told her she tested positive for COVID after she had a pneumonia. Well, now she could have, because yeah. see, that's, that's what's happening. People are getting that COVID, and yeah. then they get pneumonia. Right, right. So yep. now that's, 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 yep, that's a possibility now. That's why I, I, I've I been trying to stay in contact with her, but not in person. Yeah, 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 because you don't need to get sick, yeah. No, I, I don't need to get no sicker than what I am. I'm sick yeah. enough. I'm 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 going through enough now and um uh, my friend told me no. He said you're just gonna have to you know I'm just gonna have to deal with out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, because if you got You have one minute remaining. You can't be you know, your stomach can't, you know, your immune system and all that gets weaker, you know? Yeah. But anyway, I know you don't have that a minute. I know you got your books and stuff. I got to see you so much, more books. Do you have enough of hygiene money? Well, no, but I don't worry about it, Brittany. You're sick right now. I'll, I'll worry about it later. No, I, 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 I'll, um, no I want to make sure you have some money. I'll send you a little piece of money, okay? Yeah, and hopefully I can get your the video thing settled for you soon so I can see you. Whenever you okay, and I love yeah, you, I know, I know you're sick, so don't rush. All right, love you too. All okay. right, all right, bye. Bye. No link. Wow, this next call happens at 11, 11 a.m. I just noticed that. Um, wow. Okay, you guys. So first, let me just say, I don't want to talk about Aunt Brenda's health up here on the panel. I know you guys were kind of speculating in the chat. And I had no intention. Okay. Yeah. I, know that, <laughs> I don't want you guys in the chat to think that you did anything wrong because you absolutely did. No. You're fine. All opinions welcome. I just think for us, it's better to just, um, we no can matter, all agree that aunt Brenda had surgery. That's it. Yes. And no matter what, you know, having surgery is a tough thing to go through right. by yourself, no matter what it is. Um, right. so, but it did, it did make me think more than anything. I mean, I, I practically heard Letitia say, uh, how can I make aunt Brenda's blank, whether real or imagined benefit me? Yeah. But you know what? She surprised me a couple of times. Like even at the end, uh, when she was trying to give her money, she, oh no, not, you know, you're sick. What did you guys think about that? Was that an act? Was that, what was that about? If she uh, truly didn't want Brenda to have, if she truly didn't want Aunt Brenda to worry, she would have lied. She would have said, I'm fine. 
Wait, but she did when Aunt Brenda's like, do you have any money? And she's like, no, yeah. She I'm said good. no. She said, she said, do you have enough hygiene money? And Letitia said no, but it's okay. If she truly, if she truly didn't want Aunt Brenda to worry, and she, she would have said, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. She would have lied. She's lied I'm every other time. I it. mean, if she, you know, she ain't got no problem lying. She's a big old liar mouth. Okay, I must have misheard it because I, uh, yeah, I didn't hear it like that, and I'm sure I did mishear it because I'm watching chat too. Oh uh, man, that that caused no, me. Out. Out. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What do you think? What else do you guys think? I mean, I have. A I feel few bad for Am Brenta. I do too. Bad. I do. That was a tough one to hear, and I know people have their feelings on her, and I don't like some things she's done, but you know, um, she's, she's still a older. human. She's older and she obviously, you know, she, she's trying to look out for them. We do see that. So I don't know. After, after the whole heavy hands. Okay. It was right around heavy hands where I tried to block it out in real time because I didn't want to get, you know, I knew it was a little more personal than I felt comfortable going. Right. And remember mm -hmm. last night when you asked me like whether or not she, mm -hmm. I, I don't remember, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Uh -huh. And I was just like, we're going to leave some things to the imagination because I didn't know how I was going to explain this moment. Uh -huh. And I'm so glad. And we were just talking about taking the high road. We want to listen because we're looking for, I mean, I, we're all looking for different things here. Right. But it's a study. This isn't evidence. Right. You know, we're not, we're not solving a crime. Um, I think that's why people get confused about our intentions, but um, I just, I tried to block out the heart, the, the, uh, Letitia and Brenda stuff, like the, the health stuff, uh -huh. but it's just, Letitia was throwing me all the way off with the way she was acting and uh -huh. much in the same way that Lifetime gave me sympathy for Gypsy Rose. I, for a moment during that call, almost believed that Letitia was human. <clears throat> me too. I actually had that exact thought and I thought about something that she messaged me. I don't even remember exactly what it was, but, but you know, back at when uh, we were doing that app thing and um, part of me thinks that she does have that side to her. I don't know. I don't think she's a psychopath with no emotions or no, you know what I mean? That she's still awful and evil, but I don't think that, I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. I, I do. think it's, I think the argument can be made that like I've been saying all this time that bad people can also do good things, just like good people can also do bad things. Yes. That's just fair. Like, yeah. Just like Chad Daybell, you know, ball and crying when they take his wife out of the home, when, when she's found deceased and he's the one who took her life. Right. But he truly was heartbroken. And even the um, paramedics and stuff, they, they believe that he wasn't acting. And I, I believe that he still had love for her. He But he wanted to do it. He was just heartbroken that he he wanted to do it and was doing it. It was just that one of those things. And also, No Malicious says, I'm nervous to say what I think. I might get put in a timeout of some sort. No way. You guys, that's I want you guys to say whatever you think. That's why I said it a few minutes ago. All opinions are welcome. The only thing I don't want is don't get mad at someone for their opinion. At the end of the day, we are just having discussions about this on YouTube. You know, there's no reason to get upset with each other and and that kind of thing over somebody who disagrees. So I just as long as you don't do that, you can you say whatever you feel. I feel like what we just witnessed was what Albert referred to as the spin. How, how she would spin yeah. the uh, after, after trying to block out the stuff I didn't want to hear in real time, I, uh, then it was hard to regain my focus when she's rapid fire telling Aunt Brenda trial strategy. Right. But yes, she, and I, go sorry, ahead. go ahead, Allie. No, 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 babe, no go, ahead. go ahead. I won't forget. No, babe. I, I, I already forgot, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but if she truly had no compassion, no emotion, no sympathy, and Samantha, your comment made me giggle, but if she, tr and I love you guys too, um, if she truly was a psychopath and had no uh, empathy, they would have, I mean, she had three exams done. 
and that was never found. I believe she does have that just because she's evil and awful doesn't mean she doesn't feel things at times. And we never heard that she was anything like that. I feel like we would have heard that from one of those, right? I, well, the the short answer is yes. However, one of the things that we did hear frequently, mainly from Dr. Torres, is that Letitia is she malingered. Remember yes. when Amber Heard took the was administered the, the personality test and she answered yes to having every symptom of everything? Yes. When that happens, everything else gets thrown off. So they can, it basically nullif nulls, nullifies the, the, the test. There's, you can't really interpret those results. And the thing about psychopaths is <clears throat> while they may not feel empathy, what they are very good at is mimicking what emotion yeah. they think they're supposed to have in the moment. So I can't, right. I can't tell you because I'm not qualified to diagnose. So the, the short answer is Letitia has never been diagnosed a psychopath. Does that mean she's not a psychopath? I don't right. know. It means she hasn't been diagnosed a psychopath, mm -hmm. but right. she does do some things that are, she's very quickly able to switch gears between things that are very difficult. When your aunt calls you and tells you what Aunt Brenda said, and we all heard it, we don't need to. My heart broke for Aunt Brenda because that's an embarrassing and a humiliating situation. And Aunt Brenda seems like she's very proud of the fact that she is very independent and she can take care of herself. Yes, agree. And that was humiliating. And Letitia switches gear. That's a tough subject, right? And Instead of instead of offering, you know, Aunt Brenda, I'm so sorry. I, she did say, I'm sorry. I wish I could be there to take care of you. And um, but she didn't. She switches gears very quickly to right to it being about her. And um, trial strategy and, you know, the next thing for me and then even takes a swipe at Aunt Brenda when Aunt Brenda says she wants to move back to Texas. And I can't blame and fault Aunt Brenda for love in Texas. I fucking love Texas. I miss Texas all the time. So I can't fault her there. But to sit, but she's already at a low moment. You could have just kept the I told you so to yourself, Letitia. And that's that's really that part of her person. That's more to me indicative of her actual personality than any of the than any of the nice shit she said. Yeah, I agree. But also, I would expect that out of somebody who was what, like Teacup Kraken said, and these are different diagnoses, but still very similar. One doctor found primarily borderline personality disorder with narcissistic traits. The other found narcissistic personality disorder with border personality traits. Um, so, yeah, I think that, I don't know. It's interesting. I, I feel like I, just, I, don't, I don't really know what all that means. And I guess that's why I'm so happy about reaching out to a doctor that'll respond to me, I think, um, better than the people I've been trying to reach out to. Right. Um, I don't because, either, except for basic psych 101 in college. That's it. <laughs> right. But what I did notice is exactly what Jen was saying. Like she went from this empathetic creature who was, you know, I mean, I, anyway, she went from that straight into snitches and dangerous organizations. Yes. It's yeah. the cycling through many emotions very quickly. That, that is reminds, a red flag to me. That's what I was trying to say. That reminds me, me of my friend who had borderline. She's, she's uh, deceased now, but she had a uh, borderline personality disorder. And it was always like that, like a back and forth, like then very intense back and forth, like always very, very, everything's, sunshine and rainbows and then horrible it, like i don't know it was a a very like emotional i don't know with her experience with her like that i've seen her struggle with but i don't know i mean i would imagine that being a person who has a personality disorder is difficult is just as difficult on the person who has the personality disorder as it is for the people around oh, them yeah. because yeah. you know <clears throat> it's hard when 
you people can't understand you. You know what I mean? That's got to be. And, and I, I don't, I don't have, here's my, pro, this is my thing. I can have empathy for that specific situation, but not have empathy for Letitia. And I don't have empathy for Letitia because um, while it's not her fault that she may have a personality disorder, it is her responsibility to, to try to get help for it. And I don't give a rat's fat kneecap. There's no excuse for what she did to Gannon. Yeah, I don't absolutely. care at all, period. And that's the part of me that's just like you had other choices and you chose wrong. And now you're living the consequences of that. Although you tried for a very, very long time on somebody else's dime, mind you. Because I don't think I didn't hear that, Letitia. Um, on somebody else's dime to to put off having to, to uh, face those consequences. And you're still to this day lying about it. You know that text that you sent my friend Allie up here was complete poppycock, ma'am. There's no yeah. nothing for us to look for in Florida. The thing that was oh, God. found in Florida was found. Stop it. Yeah, I agree. Now, okay, so at what all I know about that kind of stuff, I'm not educated on it at all either. I just know from maybe a couple personal experiences with people and then the the only psych class I took in college, which was just the first one, 101. And in that one, they only went through like a few of the personality disorders, not all of them. Um, so even as far as that goes, but Kathy, I know, has her master's in psychology. And she says, I do think it goes beyond narcissistic personality disorder. So that is, I think that it, I think that it does too. You know, Dr. B and I have talked very many times about Miss Letitia and mm -hmm. what we suspect is wrong with her. And I would love nothing more than for Dr. B to be able to sit down and evaluate Letitia one-on-one -on -one, cause she got to do it in person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, here's what I can say. The very next call is only one minute and 39 seconds and Letitia calls Harley and this is um, at 1111 immediately after hanging up with Aunt Brenda. Um, but I would go from that one straight into the next one, which is nine minutes and 42 seconds and it's made directly after the call to Harley. And then maybe if we look at those three calls together, knowing that all three of those calls were back to back, then maybe, maybe, well, that's I don't a know, good maybe idea. Make more sense. Yeah. Wait, so play all three of them? No, 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 just the next two. So 25, okay. 25 and 26. Okay, it's like one minute and nine. I was listening, but yeah. also reading the chat. Okay, and then, all right, that's what we'll do. Well, I'm ready if you guys are ready. It'll be about 11 minutes. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Hello? Hey. Hey. Oh, did tell us have stomach cancer. Cozy. What? Yeah, because when I was talking to her, because I wanted to see what she said about certain things, and then when she started telling me about the uh, the drills, the holes drilled in her back Come here. and stuff like Come that, here. they don't do that with uh with just tummy tucks. She just told everybody with the tummy tucks. Uh, well, why don't you tell me that? <laughs> Come on, Jan. Yeah, but I just thought I'd tell you that, so... That doesn't oh, justify, you know, how she treats and stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you, just, you know, so, just so you know. You might want to tell Julie that she told me that it was and that she just lied and told everybody that they told me to. Just the mm -hmm. So then again, you know, Julie's smart enough to know she'll, she'll Julia asked for paperwork. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Julie's like me. She'll be investigative. But anyway, so we I just called her. I thought I'd call you back and tell you that real quick, so that way you know to tell her a little bit. Talk to her, whatever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, she said mom's mm. sugar is really low, that it's pretty low, it's pretty bad. So, um, Grandma? Yeah, so, so just check on her. Okay. Right. Love you so much, Gay. Stay strong. Bye. This will all be over soon, and we'll, you know, God's got a good plan, and I already know it, all right? That's why I'm not upset. You notice I don't be upset anymore. Okay. okay. So you got to keep your okay. faith. Trust me. We got this. All right. Love you. Love you. All right. Bye. Have fun. Love the babies. Bye. Okay. I'll link. 
Hey, Lucisa. How are you doing? I'm okay. I've had a bad few days. Girl, so no. I'll be okay. Me too. I feel you. Harry, can I ask you a question? I seen on the news was it yesterday, the day before. Um, are you representing yourself in court? Yeah. Hold on. Seven. Oh my okay. God. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm back. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't need to talk to me about it, okay? But I was just, like, in shock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. I got it all under control. <sighs> yep. Um, Are you going to be okay, though? I mean, is that the right decision? I don't know, because I'm not there, okay? But I just see them like, oh, no. Yeah, I got enough to exonerate me right now if I wanted to release it. But what's the point for them to kick it out, you know? Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I got it under control. Okay, that's that's all. I was just in shock and like, no, no, <laughs> listen to me, no. Yeah, they don't they don't have my other iCloud, and that's I figured it out. <laughs> Once I figured it out, because the whole time I've been sitting here wondering, what the hell, why am I still being held here? But they don't have it. <laughs> but um, anyway, so how's your dad? Um. um He's had a rough couple of days. Um, he's been really sick, not getting up. Um, I think maybe also the fear is hitting him now. He's yeah. been trying to put on a happy face, you know? Yeah. But, you know, next week is when we start the treatment. Our whole life's going to change. I know. I talked. To, I, mean, I just talked to my aunt, found out she's got stomach cancer. And my mom had pneumonia. Now she's got COVID and her sugar, she has diabetes and her sugar's really low. And so, you know, that's mm, that, that. And then I don't, you know, got my, I got my, my child here in Florida that I, you know, I'm just now getting to talk to him here at the jail. So, you know, this is a lot. Wow. He, I, he's, he's there, I, you know, and then Harley's in South Carolina, and then he's there, you know. So. Another child? Yours? Yeah. Did Angel have her baby? <laughs> it's a long story, girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know. No, he's 15. <clears throat> oh, oh, wow. That's going to be emotional, then. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah, I'm going through it, too, you know, but... I'll go get in, I'll go get in the word later and I'll get in the spirit and the scripture for the rest of the day and I'll try to talk to some people, you know. Well, I still get in trouble for talking, but I'll need to, you know. <laughs> what, you can't talk to anybody there? Oh god, every time I talk I get in trouble. Yeah. Why? Just <laughs> that, that's a human right, right? No, they said they didn't well, I asked yesterday when the lady came up to me and I said, Do you think this is like mentally okay and she said she doesn't worry about mental health so yeah <laughs> but it's all right you know all you can do in that situation is you know the same people that stand up and praise and worship god on sundays you know are the same people that are the ones that come in here and persecute you the most you know yeah. so that that's the that's the hard part of it it's just like looking at them like apparently you're not you're not you're not following the same god i follow because but that's not how we treat people, you know. But yeah. It's fine, though. When it's all said and done, you know, I'll still, I'll still hang my head high and, and have respect for him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So that's what's going on. And then I got one of my... Friends. Well, it was just a lot because, like, I tried to call... I tried to talk to him, and I talked to him yesterday, and his dad is being like pissing me off <laughs> and then you know and then I want to call my mom but you know, my mom hasn't I've really had the greatest con- like you know relationship you know about that yeah yeah you told me about it yeah and so but at the end of the day it's still your mom you know yeah um did you say your grandma's got cancer right no my aunt she's got stomach cancer oh your aunt okay. yeah so she's that's the one that's like been the most supportive to me you know and or, you know, oh, like, like growing up and stuff like that, you know, but and like my dad, her, um, my dad's grandma had stomach cancer. That was awful. Yeah. And she just had surgery. And then 
you know, my uncle, which was her husband, died uh, a couple years ago, like two or three years ago. And I took that pretty hard because he was like a dad to me, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so she's really at home by herself without anybody helping her. And, you know, I feel awful because I could be there, you know. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm just oh, I thought the phone hung up. Oh, no, no, no. Just saying I could be there, you know, but it is what it is, you know. Apparently, God thinks I'm like uh, this strong warrior here. <laughs> so. So, when do you go back to court again? I think tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, tomorrow is for my hearing to release my attorney. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. Well, it's going to be all over the news. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know. Because I, I had no clue until, um, was it what Colorado Station, was it? I don't know. Talked about that um, you can represent yourself, you know? Yeah. That's how I found out. Well, I don't believe it until I talk to you. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I mean. No, now I believe it. Everything, uh, everything people try to make this about, you know, some fame and stuff like that, you know, and that's okay. They let them do that. You know, the Bible talks a lot about that, you know, and it talks about people who, they're just miserable with themselves and, you know, that type of thing. They try to use social media and things like that to, to damage others or talk junk, you know. I was reading that in my daily bread the other day and it made, made complete sense. And I was like, you know, I don't worry about that stuff anymore. It used to bother me, but if I wanted to right now, I could release something that would be whatever, but I'm not stupid because I'm not going to have it, you know, deleted from anything to do with it trial. You know what I mean? So I just sit yeah. back and just be just, just every day with Jesus, you know, that's how it is. Some days are tough. Like some days I don't even know who I am, but then I get through it through the day, you know? Yeah, you've been through a lot. I can tell you that much. You know, yeah. like I said, um, I try to show people from the teach that I know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But no one believes me, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't even worry about those people, man. Those people, that's the thing, is like, <clears throat> it's just going to be a slap in the face to see something, and I just wish I could do it right now, but I can't, because I ain't going to dare have something be a not be able to be used, you know what I mean? But God knows every day I think about it, but then I have to have that patience in my mind to be like, all right, don't, you, you can't, you can't do something to appease the people because to show someone something, they would dismiss that person as a lunatic, like I told you, you know? They would say, oh, this person's yeah. a lunatic, you know? And then they'd be like, because to admit they're wrong, the, it's an unlawful incarceration would be to admit they're wrong. So it's just, you have to just uh, not pray for patience because you're not supposed to pray for patience, but you have to have it and just sit back and be like, oh my gosh, just, I cannot wait, you know, but it'll be all Well, that's a tough thing to do, you know, have yeah. patience. Yeah, but, but I'm 100% confident in it because I know better. So that's the difference in some of these people in here that are waiting some of these big trials because... You know, they're searching for this type of deal and these type of things and all that. And I'm over there like, heck no, nah, man. <laughs> like, if only I could just show you a few things, but I can't, you know. That's just how in my mind. I have to every day in that anxiety. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be all right. Well, I just want to check in with you. I got to go. Uh, I got to go lock down because my time is about up. I talked to Harley for a while and then my aunt. I wanted to cancer, talk to her for a little bit, and see how she was doing, and stuff like that. But, um, so well, I'm keeping my friends, man. Oh, thank you. You too. I just want to let you know what you're doing. I do this business start soon, so I'll call you back next week to check on you. Well, yeah, it starts next, I think, Wednesday. Okay, I'll keep you in my prayers. Well, thank you for thinking about her. Oh, yeah, yeah. And your mom, too. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you. Okay. I guess we should start with Harley and actually let me start because I meant to say something uh, from the call prior to that um, where 
there was another moment when Harley asked her, does she, when I mentioned Harley asking her if she needed anything, Tisha's response to that was you, just you. That is one of the only times I've ever heard her say anything like that to Harley. <clears throat> so I just wanted to, to note that. But um, then they go on to have this call and, you know, it's very quick, even though she tells the YouTuber she talked to Harley for a while. But um, Harley kind of seems to shrug off what Aunt Brenda is going through. You know, that's what I took from that. Um, then at one point, Tisha says, Julie's like me. She'll be investigative. But then she tells Harley, this will all be over soon. That's why I'm not upset anymore. That's why I don't get upset anymore. I thought that was interesting. That's all I know. That's all I took from that, though. The Harley call. What about you guys? Oh, man, I'm almost all the way out of comments. Mm -hmm. um, I just I, I find it interesting that. Letitia, you know, confirmed one way or the other. I said, oh, no, no, I can't say that. Um, she went for the, the way that it, I remembering that the call with Brenda, the call with Harley and the call with the YouTuber are mm -hmm. all back to back to back. And then she went back to her cell and did God knows what. I mean, there, I looked in the jail file and there wasn't anything really specific from today. If yeah, today was February 25th of 2021. Mm -hmm. um, but it pulled me back out of that um mistake uh, i almost saw leticia as human and then i listened to the next two calls that's what i'm trying to say oh okay after after this like after right. this. and now and now we're back and when she's talking to the youtuber did you hear that uh, kktv voice come out <laughs> no you no know, you know yes. the you know jen lu you know come on yes Help yes out. i heard it Help me out. I heard it. Can you not hear me? I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. Yeah. Well, I didn't hear it, but I did take notes from that one. Um, let me see. I feel like when Letitia is talking to this YouTuber, who do you think who do you think she's really talking to intentionally? The, uh, the oh, audience. Yeah, of because yeah, what she absolutely. wants to do, Aunt Brenda was very clear. She didn't want anybody knowing about this. Yeah. yeah. And who is the first person she gets on the phone with after Harley? Yeah. And I think what she was doing oh with God. Harley was, I think what she, her attempt was to, not to justify. Harley was upset about the way Ann Brenda treated her. And I don't think that Letitia was trying to justify it. I think she was trying to explain it. Like maybe you, maybe the, her, maybe Aunt Brenda's reaction was this because of that. I think that's what she was actually trying to do. And um, Harley was like, whatever. She wasn't having any of it. Yeah. yeah. But, she didn't care. but thinking back to the conversation with the YouTuber, but also thinking even further back to the conversation with Amy Lang, what did Amy tell Letitia, what was the first thing out of her mouth? She wanted to tell her what the YouTuber put all over YouTube and all over Facebook. Right. Which is exactly why Letitia called the YouTuber. Because now Letitia has confirmation for sure, for sure, not only from the YouTuber themselves that she put some stuff out, but now she has independent confirmation from a third party, another Amy, about exactly what she put out and how it was received. And so I now think that's why she focuses so much on trying to be empathetic, you know, about the YouTuber really? problems. Yes. yes. Like, oh, I see you as a human. And then the YouTuber is trying to show her, oh, I also see you as a human. Right. Wow. Uh, because Letitia, mm -hmm. as soon as she asked the YouTuber about her father, right? And, the, and she gave her answer. Immediately, Leticia starts with, which was the whole intent for her call, in my opinion. My aunt, oh yeah, well, my Aunt Brenda has, you know, whatever. Right. Because she wanted that YouTuber to, to take 
that out to and put it out in the world. She knows I that feel this, like that's interesting. I felt like she was trying to just like get sympathy off of it uh, and get, you know, because she she's always trying to gain from it. That's just as deep as I looked at it. That is so interesting. You guys think that hmm. probably you're probably right. But wow. And to answer Llama Mama. No, this is what yeah. I think Letitia thought. I Wait. don't think Letitia thought that she was truly going to walk free. What I think she thought was she was going to plant enough seeds that these other people, external people, not people that she knew prior to the crime, only the people that she met and spoke to after the crime were going to raise a stink. She has information to exonerate her. Like they were going to go <laughs> on some type of, you know, free, free, yeah. free Dr. T. They don't have my other eye cloud. That's why I'm still being exactly. held here. Like something <laughs> nefarious is going on. That is what she, I, I, that's what I think she was trying to do. I oh. think that she didn't, I don't think she ever thought she was going to be exonerated or walk free, but I think what she wanted to be was some type of, you know, free Dr. T movement or some such nonsense. Yeah. Free Tisha yeah. X. Free Tisha X. Okay, so anybody who is listening to this that is not fully aware and consenting of the fact that we are on the roller coaster, please buckle up because no. the next call. Oh is with my Elaine. God, Jen, no, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, There's you can. more shenanigans. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. One more call, Jen. One more call. I'm going to be like and the listen. motherfucking little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Okay. I'm going to try. Call. Okay. In this one, it's only five minutes and 43 seconds, but it goes fast. And El Chapo enters the chat I'll and she's that. telling Amy Lang about this and that and the other thing. And uh, there's twins. And anyway, it's it's five minutes and 43 seconds. But this is the part where you should really be wearing a seatbelt because. Wait, 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 this wait, wait, full wait. Circle. I just, I just okay. forgot about something. Are we really what? not even going to discuss the fact that Letitia says that she's taught a 15 year old kid in Florida? Oh, yeah, I forgot. So I think I figured it out. And this is as close to possible as anything else with this biological son thing that's been yeah. going on since yes. the letter that she wrote yep. to uh, Judge Werner and Judge Bain February oh. 21st of 2021 where she's explaining the conflicts and how the defense they wanted to run the defense against her biological son yeah, I'll never forget when that when it came out. I will never forget that because I was we were all like, huh? Like you are so full of it. Like yes. it was just oh my God. So here's what I, I can't think believe it is. we almost went to the next call without even discussing this. See the little engine that could did. <laughs> <laughs> the one who is yelling and screaming about the roller coaster is not in charge of the roller coaster. <laughs> yeah thank you jen so much you're I welcome I believe we almost missed it there I was know. also something i wanted to ask you guys about i wasn't going to move on yet because there was one last thing i wanted to talk about and i have to know what you guys think about where she says um some days are really tough i don't even know who i am yeah that's, that's foreshadowing okay so here's who i think ty is I think that her biological son is a symptom of her, her alleged dissociative identity disorder. Because do you guys remember that the Taylor personality? Oh, that's um, right. Has which also went by T. She had a whole husband and kids and shit. Right, right, right. I forgot about so, that. Yeah. And then, but then I tried to put it in context. And this YouTuber calls her Letitia on the call. You know, and talk, I mean, it it doesn't really match, but I what I is, think is it is it possible that that Ty is Taylor and oh God, what was her fake husband's name? It started with a T. 
all I can think of is South Park, Timmy, but I know that's wrong. (laughs) (laughs) It's late. I laughed. (laughs) Feeling guilty. I do think, Allie, that what she said when she said, I don't, uh, some days I don't feel like myself is, uh, is a bit of foreshadowing on Letitia's part, although it's not, it's in, you know, Tisha's the author of this crazy ass story, right? So she would be the one that would be doing the foreshadowing. And I think that it's sort of her saying she, she's got to keep it together in order to, to, to make this next court ap- appearance because she's got to appear as sane and as rational as possible in order to get what she wants, which is to be pro se so that she can get her mitts on the full discovery, right? So she's laying, she's just leaving breadcrumbs you know, about the personality disorder. Right. Okay. That makes sense. So just little bits here and there, because she still has to be sane enough to get what she wants. Correct. Correct. Okay. Well, I guess we got to buckle up for, um, (laughs) I love that little laugh. <laughs> <You're> like, uh-huh. <laughs> I ain't buckling. I'm not even buckling in. I'm going full YOLO, hands in the air like I just don't care. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, I know that Amy Lang is a real ass human. <laughs> and I don't mean any disrespect, but you got to know this shit's fascinating. <laughs> okay. Let me clear my notes off so I can take new ones. All right. Let's go. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey. Hey, what's up? It's not too late, is it? Oh, no. Shoot, I was sitting outside on the couch just and BSing with my husband. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my head is hurting so bad. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Why? Oh, what's wrong? I just haven't eaten days and I haven't slept in days and I'm just running off with nothing left. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, oh, how did you... Your... You didn't go to it today? No, I, I heard it was today, but I didn't hear what happened. I'll be asking how that went. What? You didn't even see what happened. What? Now I'm interested what happened. Oh, I don't know, girl. That's too much to explain. Oh, they were drilling me hard on it. But yeah, so I, they released the attorneys and gave me like oh, an, wow. an advisory council. Advisory council, oh, advisory yeah. council to help me. Are you ready for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for that. Like, I that's that's cool. I just um. So I was wondering if you could do me a favor real quick. If I give you this yeah. name, can you can you Google real quick and see if it says this person uh was arrested? I can. I'm on Google right now. What's the name? Okay. So we don't have newspaper here anymore because you know they have all these tablets, and so I don't. Yeah. Know. But it's M I E M M A. If you put it, should come up in a national search and then Cordon C O R. I think she. I think she spells it C O R A D O N E or C O R D O N E. It should come right up and just put like arrested. Uh, it should be right. national news. If it's true, it should be national news. Is it the wife of El, Chap- El Chapo? Oh shit! Was she arrested on drug trafficking? Yep. Where is it at? Was it Washington D.C.? Oh, let me see. I'm clicking on now. It was four days ago. How many? How long? Four, what? It was four days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just, so someone, like, mouthed it, mouthed it to me today. And I was like, oh, shoot. And I tried to, I tried to call E's phone, but I couldn't get him. Yeah, I'm trying to see. It doesn't say where. It doesn't she was arrested and why, but it doesn't say where at. It doesn't say if she's still being held. Um, let's see. She had an initial appearance at federal court on Tuesday via video conference. So it looks like she's still in. Hold on, let me go check out another source here. Give me one second. Yeah, she's still locked up. Yeah, because they're not going to give her a bond. Oh, oh yeah, I don't. God, I got to talk. I got to talk to E on this one. Well, I tried to call, but I couldn't get him. And I was like, oh, I t- couldn't get him yesterday because I have to call, you know, like differently from here. Yeah. And I, I couldn't get him. I couldn't get him again. But, mm. <laughs> well, that's, yeah. that's not good, is it? <laughs> you take the first name Emma off and put Angel, Angel Cardone? Yeah. 
Yeah, and see if they register. Okay, same last name you said? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, how do you spell that again? C-O? I think it's, it's I can't remember if it's C-O-R-A-D-O-N-E or C-O-R-D-O-N-E. I never get them Spanish names, man. I've been around them all my life, but they all sound the same. Nothing, nothing comes up under that name. Okay, okay. Because right, that's... I, I tried C O R, I tried C O R D O N E and C A R D O N E, but nothing came up. How is uh, Emma spelled? Is C O R D O N E for Emma? Mm-hmm. Let me see how we, let me see how I type that in. Hold on. They spell it as C O R O N E L. Oh well, the Spanish way. I see it. I spell it American way. <laughs> so let me try to. Okay, hold on. So I changed it to the other one. So you said Angel. Let's see if that works. No, nothing about an angel. Okay. But when you when you type in that name, Angel, with the same last name, it brings up all the articles for um, El Chapo and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's Angel. I'm making sure she's about to start selling some of my shit right now. But so I guess she's not incarcerated. Oh, yeah. No, nothing, nothing coming up for her name. So, oh, shit. <laughs> is, 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 um, <laughs> is that... Is that yes. who I think it is then? No, yes. are you serious? Thank you. <laughs> <Good> God. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So you. Okay. Wow. I oh my. The, I wonder who's got the twins. Cause um, they got twins, and I'm sure if somebody's got them. I mean, this. I mean, they did freaking made the Forbes list. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, they got God. Holy crap, girl! <laughs> Listen, it wasn't me. So I don't snitch. And <laughs> okay. I. I don't snitch. <laughs> and, mm. Wow. That's, um, <laughs> yes. that's, in, that's intense. By the way, I think the video chat thing you requested earlier, I think it, they approved it. Oh, did they? Let me look. Hold on. Okay, it's about to ring, okay? Okay. If that's okay, tell your husband I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. You say the video okay. game. good. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you for using Global... Oh, my God. I said what I had to say in chat, and I'm afraid to say anything more than that. Oh, my God almighty. It's 7.22 p.m. It's not too late, is it? <laughs> Like, what, Tisha? That's the first thing she said. And I looked at the time and I'm like, oh my God, okay. She hasn't ate or slept in days. Dear Lord. She, it's funny how this starts immediately after she gets her way, too, with the, uh, you know, the attorneys, letting the attorneys go. Hold on. I want to look something up really quick. The wife of El Chapo, you know, she, she's, she that, wasn't anywhere near close on the actual spelling of uh, her name, by the way. Just, just, just. How do you spell it? There. Um, Why is she doing this? Is it because dumb. she's trying to pin Gannon's murder on these people? It's pretty dumb. I can't. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Uh, C-O-R-O-N-E-L. There's no D. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. It's, I want to look at something else, too, really quick. Yeah, and then Angel. And then Amy. What the <laughs> hell? Is that who I think it is? <laughs> like, Amy, really? Why are you playing into this? Why? You and, gotta and, and, okay, why is Letitia doing it? I mean, you know that Amy Lang could be any human being I mean, it's just. Uh. It wasn't me. I don't snitch. Letitia, we have the jail records. We know she, how much you snitch. She <laughs> ends up making this person her power of attorney. Oh, my goodness gracious. And she's giggling about El Chapo. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Jen, she's giggling about El Chapo's wife. Okay. Yep. Technicality. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> but 
but let me just <sighs> let me give you guys a little bit of facts on uh, on uh, Mrs. El Chapo. Okay, let me tell you what happened to her. So she pled she pleaded guilty to drug trafficking charges and was sentenced to three years in jail in November of 2021, a sentence which was later reduced. The Federal Bureau of Prisons confirmed her release. It is believed the 34-year-old left a halfway house in California where she was moved from federal prison in June. And this was an article from September of 2023. Huh. So, yeah. And uh, so, you know, look, Letitia, my, you know, Letitia doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, okay. There's, I'm not even going to get into it. She's an idiot. That's it. Just, she's not even right about the cartel. There's two cartels, two major ones. I know nothing. I, I when I was growing up, I, I had a Rottweiler named Schultz, but we also had a Basset Hound. But do you remember Schultz or is that way too old? Schultz, like Charles Schultz? Like, like Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> no, I never watched Hogan's Heroes. I was not a fan. Me either, but we did have a dog named Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, th I thought, like, this is not smart, especially when you're going to be in prison the rest of your life. Why are you trying to entangle yourself with anybody like that? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, I just, why, see, as people that are part of um, an organization of any type, really, whether it be legal or illegal, don't really like for people to pretend they're part of an, that organization, right? It's sort of, um, you know, you, you can't be a poser. So, and then on top of it, to to pretend that you're part of something that you're not part of and constantly be saying that you don't snitch when, excuse me, ma'am, your kites prove otherwise, you're always snitching and bitching. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to be problematic for Letitia. It may not have caught up with her as of yet, because I mean, I'm sure that there is a system where slowly over a little bit of time, you know, because she's a risky one, right? They're going to start, um, you know, releasing the restrictions on her and she'll be commingling more freely, but it takes a little uh -huh. bit of time because they're gonna supervise her because she acts a fool. She's a, she's a security risk because she's es tried to escape. So it's going to take her a little while to earn those privileges. They're not just going to give them to her. And this is going to be very, very, very problematic for you, Letitia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You cannot well, claim to be part of something that you're not. Yeah. Yeah. So this next call. Okay. This is where the craziness of the roller coaster uh, comes to an abrupt halt. And, and that's where we're going to end it for tonight, right? Yeah, I'm down for that. Okay. Uh, okay. And um, Jen, yeah, I was going to tell Jen to put to look in the private chat because we were just at no. she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, before we go to that, just one sec. Can I just say oh. to Harley, Harley says, I totally love you ladies. You ladies make me smile when I'm having a hard time. I've been going through a lot lately and I always look forward to your ladies' lives. And Harley, I'm sorry you're going through a lot, but I'm happy if we can help at all. And also, I definitely understand because YouTube is that for me too, like all the time. Um, and you guys on here and the girls on panel too. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that we can be here for you. I'm glad you're here. It's nice that we, that I think I'm glad, I'm sorry that you're going through a rough time, but I echo Allie's sentiments that if we are doing anything to lighten the load a bit, a little bit, that makes yeah. my heart happy because, yes. you know, that's, I mean, yeah, I like ragging on, on Letitia. I'm not going to lie. She just does the most asinine shit for no reason. It does make me giggle to make fun of her a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but I, I, the fact that you guys enjoy it and that it, you know, might take you away for a little while from whatever's going on in your life. That makes me happy. That's actually more, that makes me more happy than bagging on old Tisha Lynn. 
Me too. Real Pokemon I said, y'all are my only friends. And I was going to put in chat, same. And I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Allie, I was, I, Allie messaged me and Jen, I, yeah, on New Year's Eve and asked what we were doing. And all I could think of was I don't, like, I don't have friends here in the state that I live in. All my friends are in Texas. So there was, like, no partying for your girl for New Year's <laughs> Eve. Even though, like, Florida is a fun place to party for New Year's Eve. I've partied here before, but <clears throat> um, now that my sister-in-law has moved out, we don't really, or moved back home, we don't really know anybody here, you know? So you guys are my only friends. You guys and the cats and Nestor. Oh, I love it so much. And Elena, thank you so much. And thank you, love and my vet off grid. Thank you guys. You are so sweet and way too good to me. And um, so many awesome comments in the chat. Thank you guys. I am reading them all. And it's just so sweet because I love this place too. I just, I can't get over it. Um, I'm so proud of it. And we've, we just have come together to do some really cool stuff. I think that we will continue to do some really cool, amazing things. And I can't wait. I love it. So thank you. Um, but Stevie Grace, this is the first channel I've ever interacted with on YouTube. And it's all of you that have brought me some relief with my anxiety on the hard days. And everyone's been so nice. And Teacup, Aww. I love this place. It really helps make things easier. Tiffany, all you guys. But yeah, thank you. And, I, and I'm going to go back and read the chat because I know I've missed some good ones. So definitely. I mean, you that. guys help us as much as you, you know, you say we help you. You guys help us. Yeah, you know, if we didn't, if we weren't able to come here and get this stuff off of our chest, can you imagine how we would make society <laughs> feel as a whole? <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real. Love and vet off my grid. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Misty says these calls were great. Well, we have one left, actually. And curious, Jen, do you want to tell us about it or anything about it? Is there anything we need to know or? Um. It's probably okay to loosen your seatbelt and shake it off. It's the end of the evening. Um, people are going to have a lot to say about it. Um, I don't know what else to say. People are going to have a lot to say about it. People are going to have a lot to say about it. It's with uh, Amy, Bo uh, Amy B. Okay. Oh, Kathy. And it's right after talking to Amy L. So what we just heard to this... And and now we're at the end of the roller coaster. Okay, we just All walked right. through. Some, we walked through some crazy this month. Yeah, we did. So wait, what do we have left? Um, one call to friend Amy B. on February twenty sixth. Okay, and then we'll have. What are we going to go over on gins tomorrow? There's a little bit left. Yeah. Okay, that's just how we'll do it, and then we can hang out and have extra. Uh, if it if it's not as long, we can discuss some, a little more after, like go in depth about some of it. That would be, or go back and listen to certain parts because I've wanted to do that. I've thought about doing like even just now on that on some of the ones we've heard tonight, like doing videos discussing certain clips from some of these calls because some of them it, you really want to listen more than once. There is so much to it. But okay, are you guys ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Tell Link. Hey. What's up, Holly? Nothing. How you doing? Girl, I know wired up, man. I'm just hyper attack and wired up. Oh god. Why? Cause I was freaking out because okay, so <clears throat> This one person got arrested today. Well, not today, a couple of days ago. And I just called somebody to find out, hey, did they get arrested? But I was having them check Angel's name to see if they got arrested. She got arrested, but she couldn't pull up her name on Google, but she pulled up the other person's name. So I was over here, like, spazzing out. What was, but why would that matter? Uh, I'll give you the name. So, like, and let what you, do I'll all give, these people have to do it? I'll give you the name and let you Google it, and you'll figure it out and put two and two together. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, I've just been doing that, you know. And uh, you sent me an email. I haven't, huh? Oh, I was like, I thought you sent me an email. No, <laughs> oh, I said I just been. I don't know. I haven't slept for eight, like three days. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
Did you just know you're representing yourself now, huh? Oh, I got that. That's under control. I can't. That's under Girl, control. Girl, you. What are you gonna do? You, what are you, attorney? Attorney Tisha now? Yep. I got it. <laughs> How? They don't even let you do anything. Well, I mean, they have they're to. They're not even. They're not gonna let you go to the library. You know they ain't. They have to. They have to let me go. Well, you think that, but they're assholes. No, the VA said today that they would have to let me be able to go meet with advisory council. Yes. When they they have yeah, you think that, but I feel like they're not going to do well, it. Well, if they don't, then it's on evidence here. Like it'll be it'll be recorded on the email system here. If they deny me, and then that's even more serious trouble. Yeah. At least it'll be recorded then, where it's not recorded when I had. You know, like attorneys, they just hung up and I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm, surprised. Anyway, I'm so, surprised they're letting you represent yourself. Like, It's a constitutional thanks. right. You can't, it can't be denied it. Oh, but this is a big case. Are you sure you're ready for this? I got it. All right. Yep. I got it. I, I hope you do. I just, I know Harley's worried, so I worry about her, you know. She doesn't need to worry. I got it. <laughs> Well, you're her mom. She's going to worry about you. So. Well, she needs to put her, the Bible tells her not to have anxiety, cast her worries on him. And that's, that's what she needs to do because yeah. he's already handled it and it's under control. And I already got it because they can't. There's not a science that they can ring or expert that can, that can discredit yeah. two pieces of my evidence. And boom. There's yeah, it. that's what, like, someone messaged me, and they're like, your friend says she has two pieces of evidence. I'm like, yeah, she told me that, too. I'm like, what do you expect me to do, tell you what it is? I don't know. Yep. Well, see, the I'll reason I'm worried about thinking. Angel, because Angel has the other, Angel has the only other copy. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. you know, she's held on to it for this whole time for a year, and she hasn't, you know, done anything out, expect her to. But see, somebody big time involved in Edgar got a, got arrested four days ago and I just found out about it and I called somebody to have them look it up and sure enough it made national news and I said oh shit but I had her Google Angel's uh, name too and it didn't come up so I was like okay well she's not arrested so I'm not worried about her like them having her phone <laughs> which she's supposed to be gotten rid of it but I was just worried about because I'm sure the FBI took everything from Okay, so the lady I had her look up was Chapo's wife because Chapo Edgar is part of Chapo's clan, and so uh, so I had her look up the wife because I heard the wife got arrested and and I didn't know where and she found it, but I had to check. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, apparently. See, I don't. They took the newspapers from us. We don't have newspapers anymore, so I didn't. I didn't know anything. But see, but if you're in a representative yourself, you need all that stuff. Like they can't. That's what I'm thinking. Like you know, like you said, they don't even give you talks. Like. They can do that if you are going to be your own attorney. Yeah, they need to provide you counsel, the tools that you need. Yeah, if you, you, that's why you get an advisory council. The advisory council can bring the laptop to you, and you could sit with them. Okay. They'll bring it in, and they'll sit with you and let you, you know, whatever. They're there to talk to you, to talk, like to do whatever. They can actually come in. Okay. Because they don't work for All the right, public defender's office. Better. They don't. They don't work for the public defender's office. The public defender's office is the one. They don't plan on coming in this facility till summer when everybody's vaccinated. But then they made a new rule. Now they're not coming until all inmates are vaccinated, which are going to be last in America. <laughs> so True. if there's if there's yeah, last, in then, South Carolina, us teachers aren't even on the list. That's what I'm saying. So in like, Ohio, all the teachers already got it. And, like, here's the thing, you know, and I wanted to say this, but I wasn't going to be disrespectful to the judge. But, like, the thing is, they they want to throw out, well, you know, this is going to be this, 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 and this. But they're not going to say, oh, well, you know, we, we changed the Constitution for this, but we're not going to change it for holding you guys during COVID. But we'll change it way to speedy. You see what I'm saying? So they change it. Yeah, I, I know. I've said that it. many times. Yeah, Supreme Court changes it for, th for what they want to, but they don't change it to help any – any of us so we're supposed to buy a lot of rules mm -hmm. that and that was the thing but i yep. wasn't going to say that to him because i wasn't going to disrespect my judge you know what i mean yep. um, so yeah and i just told I him just, i told him i said sir i mean he he talked he tried to talk you out of it it seemed like 
Yeah, they're supposed to do that. Yeah. But see, the 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 lady beside me, she already knew what was going on and they already knew like why I was adamant about it and they already knew what's going on, like what's about to happen in a few weeks. So like they already knew. So is Katie gone now? That's it? Yeah. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. So they're yeah. gone. Katie, Patrick, all of them are yeah. gone. Yeah. But they'll give me everything that they've done. They'll give you, all right, but they can't share anything with other people, right? Yeah, no, they're they're still bound by the same, you know, like, mm-hmm. they can't go out and be like, oh, well, you know, I was doing this. And plus, two, they wouldn't do that anyway, mm-hmm. you know. But, uh, you know, were you, were you watching again? for you, Tisha, because it's a big, no, I was at school. Oh, you are at school? And then well, now, yeah. I'm out now for my birthday. So. I know it was your birthday. I was going to tell you happy birthday, too, because it's tomorrow, right? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm out right now for my birthday. Like, I'm not. Oh, well, happy birthday. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. Are you having your party tonight? Yeah, or Harley already told me. What? No, it was tonight. Like, I went to the oh. barrel, like, a place where you take your dogs and stuff. I took her anyway. Oh, yeah. But Coco, Alyssa's dog is in heat, so Coco couldn't go. And that's, like, her best friend because she lives with her. And Coco, right. and Remy, my dog, just seems so sad today without her. Aww. Like, she just seems to be. Like, she didn't even want to go play with the other dog. Like, she missed her best friend. She's you know? missing her. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Buddy. Aww. And I'm like, I'm sorry. We can't bring Coco because the male dogs will attack her. I can't bring her. Uh, and she's and, not sick. Yeah. So then Alyssa was like, I'll take her home early. So Alyssa took her home early. So then my yeah. other friends were like, you can't go home yet. It's your birthday. And I'm like, but I'm tired. Like, <laughs> you know me. I'm like, I don't care. Oh, you work today, though. That's why. I did. I, I get up yeah. for school. Yeah. Well, I hope yeah. you're having a fun birthday. Yeah. I wish I could be there with you. Good. you know? I know. We would have so much fun. I drink we just went to a little bar breeze. that has, like, um, <laughs> you, you drink all the water. <laughs> has ski ball and all, like, darts and all this shit. Like, you would be able to be here, like, fuck, it's ski ball competition now. Well, Go. I tell some people get off the poker table. <laughs> we would be beating people. each other's asses on this. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that one time I was playing darts and I started doing one-handed push-ups. Because <laughs> uh, they were giving us tickle tequila oh, shots. It was after a softball game. And I was, yes, and I was like, dude, I can't even do two-handed push-ups. And they called Harley to cook. They were like, Harley, your mom is here. She probably doesn't need to drive. She was supposed to go home at the ball game. Yes. I was like, yeah, I, was the, like, well, I was with you and Harley picked us up. <laughs> Like, well, yeah. this is embarrassing. Our 15 year old picking us up. I know. Well, we're least, good. I know. <laughs> Great parenting right here. Good times, good times. Hey, mm-hmm. that's what we always waited for. <laughs> I know. Your I was like, we man, set, I we set another the example. Kid to turn 15 for me. Yeah, we set the example. <laughs> make sure you always have a driver. Hey, she's a good kid, man. Yeah. Charlie's a good kid. Yeah, I tried to call her. I couldn't get her. I don't know. Her. I know she's going to be confused about all this, but hopefully. She understands it in the long run. Yeah. What? Well, you're confused about today? Yeah, I don't think she knew you were going to do that. She knew? She didn't. No, I don't oh, she think she know. knew you were oh, going I don't, to. I don't tell her just stuff like that. But that, listen. I know, but that's what I'm saying. So you, you, you caught her off guard. So. Read between the lines. There is more to it than you're seeing. Just, just I know. I, I, I know that my mom, my mom has said that from day one. My mom has said Tisha is one of the smartest people I know, and that, and she's like, I know that she has this under control. Like my mom has like a hundred percent confidence in you. Yeah. Like well, just knows it. from talking to you, from meeting you, that she knows you know what you're doing. But yeah, when I'm it's your own words. kid, you know they're worried about you. Yeah, yeah, and but that's the thing is I can't call her in private and talk to her about it, you know, because I'm not gonna, I you don't know. have to do any of that. And so, like, you know, just let her know, hey, I got this. There, there's, there's something good coming next. I know. And then I'm not. And that's why I told her, but she, you're her mom. She's gonna worry about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know she is. Mm-hmm. But people are gonna make it worse than what they, you know, they're gonna do whatever they have to do for the media, you know, and that type of thing. And that's I, don't, totally okay. yeah, I don't think she really follows. She's not really following the media and stuff. Like yeah. she does her own like videos and stuff, but she doesn't really seem to follow what people are saying. Yeah. She Who gave up you, on all uh, that. She got rid of all those people. Who texted you and told you about the two things? You said your uh, friend. The. That Spencer person must put it in his Twitter. Oh, I thought you said you. Someone messaged you. 
We someone messaged me, but it was in that censor's Twitter or something. Like how how you even censor these Twitters? And I guess they posted it in their things. And so Colleen Powell messaged me and was like, and she was like, this is what it said. And I was like, I was like, I don't know. And and she's like, did she tell you? I'm like, no. I'm like, I mean, I know Cleesha told me she has evidence. And I said, I don't know what it is or anything like that. And she's like, well, and then she just said, I hope she knows what she's doing. No, I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> yes, I got it. It'll be, uh, there'll be a big uh, deal. So. Yeah, there'll be some help in here shortly. And then I got to find it. Any help you can company. get. Like All right, good. We're good. I told yeah. my mom, when mom told me, I was like, mom. And my mom was like, it's Tisha. I'm sure she has a plan. I'm like, yeah, she's smart. She's got a plan. Yeah. And I mean, if it was like one of those situations where I could go and I made sure when I said two, because I like, I knew people knew, the, knew something about the one, but I made sure when I said two, that I turned around and looked dead at somebody specifically, letting him know I got the second one because Angel gave it to me. Like Al? Mm-hmm. And I said two. <laughs> and, uh, and Landon, like, he, and Landon is like hating him. So much I haven't too. seen her on there online. Is she okay? I mean, yeah. I mean, she said I mean, that. You know what I mean? Like with the, I'm not. I'm not saying okay. She's not going to be okay. I'm saying like I hadn't seen she's her. Not okay. Yeah. yeah, she said she's having a hard time with it all. But she, um, uh, this week she, I bought like that. Remember I told you about the butterfly locket? Yeah. And I sent it to her. So she put a little bit of Gannon's ashes in it. And she gave it to Dee Dee yesterday. And Dee Dee's going to give it to Harley. She wanted to give it to Harley herself, but she wasn't ready to do that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she she doesn't blame Harley. She has has nothing against Harley. She's just, she's just having a hard time as far as everything. So she gave it to Dee Dee. People having a hard time and not, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying like, you know. And the, Al's just, Al's living his life. Al's living his family and house with a whole new family. There and you go. That's what I'm telling you. He's not even with Heather anymore. He has a whole new family. He's You have one family. minute remaining. He has one. And I don't, why nobody, why does nobody see that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look at it. I hope she sees it. No, she does. She's she's the one that told me. You know, you with some other girl. I'm like, wait, yeah. what? Not with Heather? She went and she went and met Dee Dee. Yeah, she met Dee Dee to give it to Dee Dee. So Dee Dee has it to give to Harley. And I don't know how Harley is going to react to it. Hopefully, she's happy. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't want to upset Harley. So. Yeah. Yeah, you should probably wait yeah. a little bit. All right, well, we only got like two minutes. Okay. But... All right. Well, have a good rest of your birthday, okay? Thanks. Call me tomorrow. Right. Love you. All right. Tell, tell mom Bye. to love you. Bye. No link. Hey, do you guys mind if I just play the end of that one more time? Because, like, I, did, I need to hear it one more time. It caught me off guard so much that I didn't absorb it, like, at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just do it one more time, then we'll talk about it. Okay. She knew? She didn't. No, I don't think she knew you were going to. I don't don't tell her just stuff like that. But but listen. No, that's what I'm saying. You you, you caught her off guard. Read between the lines. There is more to it than you're seeing. Just, just I wait know. for it. I, I, I know that my mom, my mom has said that from day one. My mom has said Tisha is one of the smartest people I know, and that, and she's like, I know that she has this under control. Like my mom has like a hundred percent confidence in you. Yeah. Like well, I just knows it. from talking to you, from meeting you, that she knows you know what you're doing. But yeah, when I'm it's your own words. kid, you know they're worried about you. Yeah, yeah, and but that's the thing is I can't call her in private and talk to her about it, you know, because I'm not gonna, I you know, not gonna do any of that. And so, like, 
you know, just let her know, hey, I got this. There, there's there's something good coming next. I don't know. And then I'm not. And that's why I told her, but she, you're her mom. She's gonna worry about you. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know she is. Mm-hmm. But people are gonna make it worse than what they, you know, they're gonna do whatever they have to do for the media, you know, and that type of thing. And that's I don't, totally okay. yeah, I don't think she really follows. She's not really following the media and stuff. Like she does her own like videos and stuff, but she doesn't really seem to follow what people are saying. Yeah, she Who gave up you, on all uh, that. She got rid of all those people. Who texted you and told you about the two things? You said or your friend. The that Spencer person must put it in his Twitter. Oh, I thought you said you. Someone messaged you. We someone messaged me, but it was in that Spencer's Twitter or something. Like how how oh. even Spencer have these Twitters? And I guess they posted it in their things. And so Colleen Powell yeah, messaged Colleen, me yeah. and was like, and she was like, this is what it said. And I was like, I was like, I don't know. And she's she like, did she tell you? I'm like, no. I'm like, I mean, I know Keisha told me she has evidence. I'm like, but I don't know what it is or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and she's like, well, and then she just said, I hope she knows what she's doing. And I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> yes, I got it. It'll be, uh, there'll be a big uh, deal. So. Yeah, there'll be some help in here shortly. And then I got to find it. Any I got help you account. can get. All right. Good. Okay. I told yeah. my mom, when mom told me, I was like, mom. And my mom was like, it's Tisha. I'm sure she has a plan. I'm like, yeah, she's smart. She's got a plan. Yeah. And I mean, if it was like one of those situations where I could go and I made sure when I said two, because I like, I knew people knew, knew something about the one, but I made sure when I said two, that I turned around and looked dead at somebody specifically, let him know I got the second one because Angel gave it to me. Like Al? Mm-hmm. And I said two. Landon is like hating him. So much I haven't too. seen her on there online. Is she okay? I mean, yeah. I mean, she said I mean, that. You know what I mean? Like with the, I'm not. I'm not saying okay. She's not going to be okay. I'm saying like I hadn't seen she's her. Not online. okay. Yeah, she said she's having a hard time with it all. But she, um, uh, this week she, I bought like that. Remember I told you about the butterfly locket? Yeah. And I sent it to her. So she put a little bit of Gannon's ashes in it. Yeah. And she gave it to Dee Dee yesterday. And Dee Dee's going to give it to Harley. She wanted to give it to Harley herself, but she wasn't ready to do that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, she, she doesn't blame Harley. She has, no, she has nothing against Harley. She's just... She's just having a hard time as far as everything. So well, notice the difference she gave it to Dee Dee. People having a hard time and not... You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying like you know, And but Al's just Al's living his life. Al's that's living here playing house with a whole new family. There you go, that's what I'm telling you. He's not even with Heather anymore. He has a whole new family. He's You have one minute remaining. He has what? And I don't why nobody why does nobody see that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look at it. I hope she sees it. No, she does. She's she's the one that told me. You know, you with some other girl. I'm like, wait, what? Not with Heather? She went and she went and met Dee Dee. Yeah, she met Dee Dee to give it to Dee Dee. So Dee Dee has it to give to Harley. And I don't know how Harley is going to react to it. Hopefully, she's happy. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't want to upset Harley. So. Yeah. Yeah, you should probably wait yeah. a little bit. All right, well, we only got like two minutes. Okay, but... all right. Well, have a good rest of your birthday, okay? Thanks. Call me tomorrow. Right. Love you. All right, tell, tell mom Bye. to love you. Bye. No link. Now I know what you mean exactly, but I think people will have a lot to say about that, or a, a, a lot of people will have a lot, however you said that. Um. <clears throat> the nerve of her to say, is she okay when talking about Landon? Also, can I just say, Amy's mom thinks says Letitia is the smartest person she knows. Oh, Maybe my she God. doesn't know that many people. <laughs> Your poor mom. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I'm, that's what I'm going to chalk it up to. Maybe Amy's mom doesn't know very many people. And so that, mm -hmm. that takes it, the list way down. Okay. It's like, if she only knows three people, then Letitia is only smarter than two people. So it's not that it doesn't really mean that much. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and does Amy really believe this? Does, <laughs> please tell me you guys that she sounds like she does. And I'm like, Amy, you cannot. Oh my God. I just feel like when El Chapo's uh, wife's arrest comes up by that point, you got to know that she's full of it. How, why, why are you still playing into it so much? Oh yeah. I know you got it under control girl. Even my mama says you're the smartest girl. She knows you got to. <laughs> what? Oh, because what else can Amy really say? If she can, if she really like, Cut, confronts Letitia, right? That's le that's going to be the end of the communication because that's how Letitia rolls. And something tells me that there is something. I actually think that Amy is being genuine at times, trying to help Landon in this custody battle. And I feel like she's working on Letitia so that Letitia will help her, Landon in this custody battle. No, that's and not cool. I think that maybe her motive for doing that is maybe she doesn't actually believe anything Letitia says. And perhaps she's facilitating Letitia doing something towards atoning for what she's done. Maybe that's what Amy thinks. I don't know. That would, I mean, oh, I don't know. That would they, uh, that that would be the only thing that would make sense to me. But I know that in another part of me, I don't know. I just think because Curious Jen says like how close they are, her and Letitia, and how she thinks she would choose her over Landon, which is interesting because we've kind of come to this point in conversation before. Remember, I need to know how I mean, yeah, we know that. Amy and and um, Leti. I'm not arguing that they are close or aren't close. I'm just asking how we know that they're actually close. We, we well, we don't. That's and that's why I was all yeah budding all over the place. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I I really don't know. I did you say they were lifelong friends since they were? Yeah. Yeah, best friends. Best friends forever. <laughs> it just seems like there's a lot about Letitia's life that Amy doesn't know. What? I feel like Amy's all in the business. She knows. Okay, well, Amy's like like, impo early. like important shit. Like, how come Letitia had to explain to Amy about the time she went nuts? Allie, let me ask you this. If I lost my whole ass mind so much that I had to be treated in Canada for 28 hours or whatever the hell it was, Letitia said she, do you think that there is anything in me that wouldn't tell you about it? No. Okay. Because we're friends, right? I would know about it. You're yeah. one of my closest friends. I would tell you. Yes. You tell your close friends this. Right. How close can they be if she has also... Letitia's explaining to her about how she has dissociative identity disorder and all the other alleged mental health issues she has, right? If she's your best friend, I mean, look, if I had if if I had uh, a mental health disorder, don't you think you'd know about it? Yeah. But I don't think that she I think that for her, is she trying to convince Amy she has a mental health disorder? Is she trying to convince her that there's more to it? Is she trying to convince her it's Al and or the cartel? Or, I mean, what? she's doing all of it at the same time. That's what's so yeah. fucked up about it. <laughs> <laughs> she, yes, yes to all those things. That's what she's doing. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wow. It, I mean, the good news for me, um, because I'm about to just fall over, is that this doesn't like this call doesn't necessarily pertain to um 
you know, the case or, you know, the problem that I'm having a hard time with that I was hoping for insight, especially with these jail calls was like that whole psychological side. And I feel like now that I know I can call a doctor, I just can't wait. I can't wait to just write down all my questions. <laughs> I hope he's okay with it. <laughs> I, I, mean, I feel like it's a free session for, a, you know, for, at this point. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like, <sighs> there's something where there is an element to the, to the relationship between Letitia and Amy that I'm missing out on. First of all, I do not think that Letitia is capable of actually being genuine friends with anybody because everybody is there for a purpose. And that purpose is to serve Letitia in whatever capacity it is in the moment. So I, I don't, he, I don't hear the dynamic between Amy and Letitia that you would expect to hear between two very close friends. Letitia is literally in jail awaiting trial for the murder of an, of her 11 year old stepson. Is there a, 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 a lower bottom than you can get? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't want to know about it. Right, exactly. So what I'm thinking, it just doesn't feel like if that were were me and I were and this is Letitia's story. I don't believe it for a second, but obviously, but this is Letitia's story. Letitia is wrongful has been wrongfully pros it charged with murdering Gannon. And it she doesn't like lean on Amy in any real way it's all bullshit it's all surface level shit she doesn't talk about being stressed out she doesn't talk about being stressed uh, um upset or sad or scared or any of those emotions that would be absolutely normal in in, in these circumstances well maybe Even she really that, does make fifteen hundred dollars a minute <laughs> If she makes fifteen hundred dollars a minute and couldn't get a better, never mind. That's not nice. I'm not gonna say it. Wait, and, and I want to clear up. She <laughs> said there were ninjas in her cell, not that she was a ninja, right? Right. Uh, As right, in, like she knew karate. She mm -hmm. makes my head spin so much that I I just like zone out through at least like twenty five percent of it. True. Oh, yeah. I, I honestly <laughs> think the best thing to do might be to play this last bit a bit maybe for a third time and then really get into it since it's at the end of the night tonight we've been on for almost three hours now <laughs> which is long it's long you it's want me to long. play that last part again no i mean like we can play it on my channel since it's the end oh, of the okay, night yes. just the last yes. the very last part and because there's although it wasn't a long call there was a lot of information in that call yes. and, and, and it cut and, and it was deep information. We have the locket. We have Letitia representing herself and all that that implies. And I feel like we might need like a, a, a minute. Yes. I think that's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Well, oh my goodness gracious. What a night. It's been a long night and it's late. And yeah, again, I got to leave here and go back home so that they can turn the cameras on over here. So I better go. <laughs> but um, <laughs> thank you guys all for being here. Um, it was very interesting and just I, I just love discussing it all. I do. I would find it. I know that it, some people do not understand it and that's fine, but I find it fascinating. I'll, you know, some people are like, this is a Letitia fan page or whatever. And no, that uh, if you don't get it. You don't get it. It's, it yeah. is what it is. I'm done explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And listen, it, I mean, if you guys remember the day that I was processing the calls, this is the call where after this call ended, I mean, it was like a throw your headphones across the damn room sort of moment. And that's yeah, when I told you guys and I was like, you off. exactly. I was <laughs> like, I, I need a break. I give, <laughs> I give, I can't do it. Yeah. And uh, you guys helped me so much. So thank you. And I hope that nobody else is anywhere near as spun out by Letitia's bullshit as I was when I watched it alone. This is definitely something better and safer done with friends. So thank you. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I really thank appreciate you. it. Mm -hmm. Because listen, I I can tell you the exact moment 
that my head just, I don't know, did a whole swivel. I felt like Linda Blair from The Exorcist without the pea soup. <sighs> um, was when she said, how is Landon? I don't see her online. Is she okay? First of all, and, and Amy, let me just say this to you. Just they... If they, they they took away newspapers, but they implemented tablets. Calm down, ma'am. Her rights are not being violated. She has access to that. Stop it. Okay? But what I want to know is, how does Letitia know whether or not Landon is online? That's number one. And then number two, what... <laughs> I guess it. I get the whole the whole thing threw me because now all of a sudden she's worried for Landon. She's concerned. I mean, I I, I think I'm safe to say that Land would be doing a thousand times better if you hadn't murdered her child. You piece of shit. Hands Sorry. down, fuckery is in fact afoot. Yeah. Oh my God. And that there's a reason for that. She asked that question for a reason, and. She also said something interesting about a plan. And I'm been me and Allie and Jen have all been saying this from the beginning. Letitia has multiple plans and she's already admitted it. I have something going. I got something in my pocket. You don't even have pockets. You're in jail, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> you have a quantum leap to the 90s. Yeah. You don't even have pockets. Shut up. It's unbelievable. And if a couple people were like, it physically hurts my stomach. And I had that same exact feeling from the moment she asked about Landon. It was even before the locket. It was like, yeah, you, you get I get like and I know you guys do. You get like this. Or I don't know. It's like this protective part of you that takes over because it's like, how dare you? How damn dare you? But whatever. Anyways, we'll talk about it more tomorrow. We've been on forever. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, chat, for thank you guys for helping us even get the calls. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been such a such an interesting ride. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get my book, a psychiatrist. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> psychologist. There's a difference. <laughs> I was over to <laughs> you weren't there. Or you weren't, <laughs> I don't know. She still uses those. Oh my gosh. They got my mind all over the place, but you know what I mean? They do not yes. know how to use those words. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.